I do have this awesome mug though that I think I think Lobro got me. Where when you it's just stars normally, but when you put the a hot liquid in, it shows like the constellations. So I thought that was appropriate for this. It's pretty cool. I actually did not remember what would show up when I heated it up. So it was both. There you go. There's the chat. It was both a an experiment and also appropriate. So there you go. Like zero constellations outside Orion. You mean like picking them out of the sky yourself? I um yeah. <laughs> like oh, there's Orion's belt. The Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. I can find those. Ursa. Uh, no, now I'm just naming things. I know Ursa Major, Ursa Minor. Um, what if it heated up and it showed a big butt? Well, then I'd have to arrest my brother. Okay, the last thing that we did was we finally went to the lake bed on Ember Twin, I believe. And, um... We solved a little quantum puzzle after uh, probably too much time thinking about it, but we did it, but there's still something, a reason I'm going to Ember Twin, I believe. Is that right? I started getting a little more, gui a little tiny bit of guidance from chat. Um, I don't remember. Jerky, did you tell me to go to Ember Twin? Is that why we were continuing here? I need to check my log. Uh, if I stay here, I'm gonna get smashed by Ash Twin, probably. I'm gonna get pulled in. Wait. <clears throat> Ash Twin Project, huh? The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. Oh, we probably need more. Hmm. Well. Hmm. I remember recorded by no one such a for course. Oh, right. That's where the the masks are, huh? Twenty-two minute negative time interval. Yeah. So we haven't been there, huh? Hanging. These things have things. Maybe it's because I didn't read the second message on the little spinny um, consoles. I don't remember. So the Ashwin Towers are fun or something. In fact, you have other threads you can follow if you want. Um, um, the Ashwin Towers are still fun. Hello. Oh, boy. Oh. If you like... Space mystery and exploration. And, uh... Pretty detailed physics. I highly recommend Outer World. Uh, Outer Wilds. For you... To play on your own. Still things to learn and play. Okay. Dav JH. 21 months. Welcome back. Loving these streams, Luby. Thank you. I'm loving them, too. You were told you may want to check... Oh, wait. Everywhere you have floating rings with messages. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame. I wonder how much information I've missed. Spaztagonist, tier 3 resub. 21 months. Thank you so much, Spaz. Loki Wolf Delpy. And, and Dav JH. Thank you, my friends. Good to see you all. Hope you're all excited for some. Uh, another 7 hours of... Globots! Fucking go do that thing! Oh shit, wrong way. Out. Number seven hours of what the hell is streamer doing? Oh, so. Whee! Uh, I don't want to get distracted by going to Ember Twin while I wait for um the sand to drain because that always happens, and then by the time I come back, well, I get sucked up by the sand, or. It's kind of late at that point. Stun... Whoa, stun. Sun station was very cool. We made a sun station. Another seven hours of autopilot trying to kill you. 
Out of wilds in the Dreamcast. <laughs> Better ding ding bing gum bing ding bing. So we're just waiting for this. Uh, oh. So you said the Twin Towers, which I. Ah, man. I wonder what I'm missing there then. Because, like, every time in recent memory that I've come back here, I've explored those. Maybe because Jurg said it. But, like... If I didn't have a lead to go back there, I would probably never return. <laughs> Uh-oh. The cactus skip. Oh. The jetpacking through the, the cacti. Wait, what did you say? Uh oh. Boom, boom, boom. Uh oh. Getting a little off. I thought you just mentioned the planet. Uh, oh, I thought you said the Twin Towers are fun just now. Didn't you just say that? Ba ding, ding, boom, 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 boom. Ow! Okay. I think these are the Twin Towers. But I don't know what that means. If that means... <laughs> Hold on, I gotta see. <coughs> oh, by twin you meant the Twin Planets. Ash Twin Towers. Oh, that's where I got confused. I see. Aha. Ah. Ash Twin Towers. Try all the things. Okay, I'll try everything. Just give me... A, hold on, I'm making a list right now. Of everything. If you'd like to contribute to that list. What is this? Ah, yeah, this is one of those. Um... I don't know if I'm missing one of those warp stations. Let's check out this place again. Wait, this is... Isn't this how we got to... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Isn't that how we got to the sun station? And we got inside this room. Um, careful. I believe it was that balcony. There's Jurgi's Twin Towers there. Have fun exploring. Thank you, No Fall. This place, I feel like I um, don't recall well at all. So I, I may check this place out. Hello, Boston Crab. How are you? I have my suit. Span Spider, thanks for 94 months. Welcome back. Oh, no, wait. Where's the sand? That's always a concern. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ship. Ship. Man, the sand... I guess it's got to pull sand off that tower, but it's very inconvenient when it decides to show up like this. Uh, the sh oh god. The shader used for Ash Twin Sand, Ocean Deep Water, Ocean Deep Sky, and the Supernova is the same. I didn't. That's cool. Oh. I really don't remember exploring this at all. There are spikies, though. It's sure taking a while for this one to show up. <clears throat> More spikies. I should probably stay near the ship, but... It's like the sand is chasing you half the, half the time. Oh, I thought it was already coming around again. Oh. 
soon. Dun, 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 dun. I also really haven't looked at these structures very much. But, uh, that's probably nothing. Come on now. Oh, wait. Is that an entrance? No, maybe. Continue waiting. The back seating continues. How dare you? Now it looks like it's going to be an entrance, maybe. Yes. Wait. Uh yeah. I'm gonna go. There may be a timing component to getting into this place. Is this just the outside? Probably. What is that? Oh. Oh, okay. Hey, no, not again. Fuck. My ship. <laughs> Oh, this goes back home, doesn't it? Oh, ship is back. Uh, ship is going back. Bye, ship. This one goes home. Well. Let's go check these out, then. That one goes home, I remember, because I was like, there's trees. Does that go home? And then it went home. E.T. phoned home. Um, any control panels here or something? There's another platform up there. Oh. Uh, and this just goes to the top, right? So it would seem. Um... more is being uncovered. I should jump to the next one, maybe. Hmm. Love just flying into the sun when you wanted to reset? Yeah. Okay, so that's on a different axis, so that we're, we're okay here. I think. I should go check out the other one. It's probably on the opposite side. Whee! <clears throat> Seemingly so, unless I actually just came back to the same one. Oh, my lords. Okay. These go down. They must just be panels that power the underneath stuff, right? That's what I was thinking the whole time. Um, Because there's like those cables underground that have the same... electrical power effect. Maybe I can turn it off and then just hurdle Ember Twin into deep space. You know, Ember Twin looks like a giant ice cream cookie sandwich. This, that sounds delicious right now. With my coffee. <laughs> well, you gotta know where the energy's going, Ian Mandarini. Maybe they did it in the 22 minutes. And they wanted to remind themselves of what the purpose of these were. So. And they've got practically infinite energy right there. So it's not a big deal. An ice cream cookie sandwich is the breakfast of champions. 
something. Hmm. Tells me. Oh god. 50% fuel. Okay. This is where the... Oh. This is to the... No! Are you kidding? The timing! Wait, I can just go back. I can just go back. Oh, don't jump up. Don't jump up. Fuck. Go back. Okay. <sighs> Move. Move. What are the odds? Is there more to this building? That's what I want to find out. There's an underneath. Okay, I better go underneath now. Sand suck, please. Oh, there it is. Hurry up, or, um... Hmm. I want, there's gotta be, like, a, a truly last-minute thing here. Like, as the music plays, something is revealed. But I feel like you really got me in the right sp spot at the right time. Maybe not. Maybe not. Ow. It's high up there. Oh my gosh, am I gonna... Fucking crater. Okay, get out, get out. Wait, there's something there. It's an elevator up. Probably doesn't... Isn't very helpful. The world is set, yeah. It is paved with, wait. It's just the bottom. Just the bottom. Paved with many mysteries to unfurl and discover. Ow. Hmm. Uh, have I been up here? Let's see. Absolutely. Because that's just the big bridge. No battle, though. Great. And then there's this. It's a walkthrough. And then over to the... Don't... Don't black hole. Oh, I thought it was doing it. Wee. And then this goes over to where I can refill my oxygen. Okay. Refill it quickly. It's not long now. Where's the interloper? Give me trees. I don't know if we're making progress this loop. Only 39 days until Elden Ring. Yeah. It's happening. Time is moving forward. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's see. Let's look at the base of these. Anything? An off switch? I don't know why. No, 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 no. <clears throat> oh, shh. Well... I'll just float and observe, maybe. Okay, okay. No more jumping. Wait. Uh, uh it might just be an elevator up again. This late? That's all it is? It's 
Straight to the top. All right. No, don't use your oxygen, you fool. Well, I'm on top. Uh, things are a little more dangerous now. My O2! You son of a... That's the one I was just on. Wait. Yeah, it's got all sides. Okay. Wish I had my ship. Uh oh. Stop oxygenating. Deoxygenizing. Uh oh. Okay. Thought I heard that all too familiar hum. It's bound to shit. It's bound to shit. Ooh, it's a cool ground. Is this done moving now? Oh, there it goes. I think it's done. Okay, it's done. What's here? Anything? Go away, music. Go away, oxygen. No, don't go away, though. No! Can I learn anything without uh, 60 seconds of oxygen? That's not even enough to survive. Fuck! Just hold your breath. I can hold my breath IRL for 60 seconds. You got this, man. While jumping and exploring... Damn it! We're not, we're not gonna see the supernova. Unless I can make it to the building with the oxygen. <laughs> Ruined. Uh, good luck, Tooth Drill. Very good luck. Sure, Jergy. Sure, Jergy. I am, um, the way that I explore, for, in a game with mechanics like this, I would try things so many different ways that I would never finish a playthrough. Do you know what each tower does? You're referring to the the non-power things, right? Um, okay. That's a question to point me in the right direction. Like, one, I feel like one of them has two warp pads and another has one warp pad to different locations. But maybe that's... There's more to it than that. Um, hello, twins. It's just always I gotta wait for the sand. But it ain't bean, 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 bean. What is this? Oh, Adel Rock. Hi, not female. If you hold your breath at the end of the universe, supernova feels more intense. Uh. <laughs> well, it turned out that I knew some rules in the wrong way, Rosie, though. So, but still, I guess a lot of it's being ironed out. Either way, I had fun doing the, the doing it in general. There are bonfire to sleep at to speed things up. Oh, that's right. I can sleep all over the place to speed things up. Um, where is, uh, yeah, he's on the Ember Twin. Oh shit, I thought I pressed retro, I mean, uh, auto, autopilot. I thought autopilot was just saying, screw that. Oh no, this is bad. Autopilot? Oh, okay, we're orbiting this way. 
Where is that smoky? Oh, there it is. Roll! Okay, unroll. Wouldn't be the first time we plummeted into the sun. Let's see if I remember how to control this spaceship. Ish. Hello. What's up? What's up, my drummer? Uh, I'm sure it's fine. Let's doze off for a bit. Hey, Kazoodle, what are you doing? Thanks for that sub. Welcome to the wolf pack. We were just talking about it. The, uh, the league yesterday. Is there a way to mark something as spoilers without just typing spoilers really big? Uh, you shouldn't mark something as spoilers, period, because you shouldn't be typing spoilers. So, let's see, wake up. Mmm, 22 minutes. Let's say... I don't know. Seven minutes in. Egg ham man, 64 months. Welcome back. You didn't get the rules at all? Uh... Right, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's something we'll, we'll get used to it as we go. I'm sure the next one will be a hundred times better, and then the next one after that will be a hundred times better than that. We'll get there. Spoilers, this game is good. It's very good. All right, let's see here. Where is that? Hello, ass twin. There you are. There we go. Okay. So, I'm going to approach this. Uh, do you know what each tower does? Hold on. <clears throat> this one is a, is a warper. It's a warpy. Uh, just in case. Yeah, yeah. Should be good. Aren't we all warpies inside? I hope not. There may be medicine for that, though. On, next time on Omit League. Oh, God. You warpy food. So this is a teleporty thingy. This one goes to the black hole... Oh. Forge. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. It's got a scroll. Um, no, what are you doing? Come back. Come back. Come back. Uh, the black hole forge, yada yada yee. Okay. What? Hope I'm correct on that. Uh, and so if I stand there and it aligns with the black hole forge, it'll warp us to the black hole forge, which I'm not sure that I've actually been to yet. So that's still something to try and figure out. Um, I don't know of any other entrances to this bad boy, at least right now. Uh, if it has something to do with these towers, I got nothing, because I the only place I could see that I could enter would just take me all the way to the top. However, they do have... Wait. Oh, no, no. Wait, do these? No. They don't have uh, teleporty spots on them. I'm going to go over here. Come now. Viking RRT, thank you for the six months. Welcome back. Plop. And quickly before the uh, Ember Twin orbits around. This is a teleporty spot. But to where? But to where? Um, this one's got a dead guy. And there's a scroll up top. 
up top, below. I guess I might as well check out... This one looks broken? Maybe not, though. I might have been trying this one and I got sucked up by the... Sand. Still need to figure out how to get to the center of frickin' giant's massive di di deep. It looks broken though, but it's powered. Okay, I think we've looped at this point. Well, hard to say with our orbit. You have a vague thre thread for that whenever I want. Vague thread for... Oops. So this one's closed. This one looks like it's functional. And, um... Probably takes me to the, uh, brittle place. Although that is also where the Black Forge takes you, so maybe I'm thinking of that. <clears throat> you just finished the Zero Hit League VOD. That was awesome. How'd you like it? I liked it a lot. I mean, it's randomizer stuff. Please don't suck me. Oh, wait. Oh, hey, uh, did I read both of these? Yeah, charged, departure time, arrival time. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to get sucked up by the sand at that point, and then it takes me to a unique location there. Like, instead of this being a functional teleporter pad, it's more of a... I mean, you know, functional in a different sense. But, uh, I don't know. This game is pretty. It is pretty, isn't it? Sucking machine, yes. But I've been sucked out of it before, so that's what I don't think is this. Thing? Whoopsie. I'm not gonna just stand here and get sucked here on twitch.com. God of War PC, I would love to play God of War again. I almost want to wait for mods to come out though. Because that's a long playthrough and <laughs> sucked. I don't think I want to do that. That's a. Where's my. Oh, my ship's gone, isn't it? Fuck. <laughs> Stupid ass ship, man. What mods are you waiting for? Uh. Massive Dong Kratos, of course. Okay. So, oh! Ugh. Those were both at once functioning teleporter spots. This is a functioning teleporter spot that takes me to... Um, <clears throat> this is where uh, they were going to the the mines on the Harthian planet. Is that right? Wait, this one's broken and it functions, doesn't it? So maybe you're asking me in more of a historical sense what these do. But maybe not. See, the question has so many different answers because the answer could be that this tower just gives me oxygen I don't know I don't know. I, oh. hmm mm hmm mm hmm it's charged so we can warp back uh-huh yeah now we're home does this go to the grove? No, this goes to the place with the waterfall, I think. 
Gumby Oak, 13 months. Welcome back. I'll follow this path. There was ghost matter down there. Obviously, I have to go behind the waterfall, right? If I haven't done that yet, I'm... I'm not a true gamer. I don't know if I've been here. Mining site 2B. Hmm. I remember mining site 2B. I don't remember if I've been here. I think I have, right? This is where we, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've definitely been here. But was there more to... I can't check the ship log. Muzak. Uh, A2 has been in 2B. That will be. <clears throat> the controversy. I haven't even played far enough to meet A2, I think. What is that? Spewing blood? Yeah, this is where they were mining. Exactly. Oh, no, it's not blood. And that takes us all the way down. Maybe I'll learn something new since I came here, though. Oh, I thought that was taking us down. Uh-oh. No. Okay. Yeah, I stopped near after the first playthrough. I was like, okay, that was it. So amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. This is where from the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin. The lead towers I've seen are quite large. No material for those towers all being taken from Ash Twin. The order we're making here we use to craft an immensely thick protective shell that would protect, physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. They're setting off all interests. I hope they've planned accordingly. Thank you for beginning. Yeah, yeah, okay. Maybe there's a place I can access the... The Ash Twin's core from here. I think we could maybe see it from the projection stone. Yeah. Uh, I, I believe that that is the the core, right? Are you serious? I slept that long? Oh my god. <laughs> what the? Time flies when you doze off. And... This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. It's exciting news. Once we finish the shell seal, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Remember now we'll be checking the interior and the next here for cracks. Uh, so where is the entrance? It's gotta be... Well, it doesn't have to be on Ash Twin. All I've read about Ash Twin passage is from Ash Twin to the Sun Station, which we found. Why is I'm writing orange? Um, I think it depends. I think it's like whether you've read it yet or not. Or if there are branching paths. Oh, you mean you mean the, the actual text. I thought you meant there. Yeah, those are just keywords. That's what I gather. Oh, you meant the swirls. See, they're blue until they're red. Then they're on. They're blue once they're unread. I mean, once they're red. Death. If you tie this puzzle, we can go look for other things, or I can give you even more pointed questions. I, I, I guess the thing is, I don't know what the puzzle is, so I don't know what I'm trying to do. Which is, uh, yeah, we can just go somewhere else. But without knowing what my objective is, it's kind of hard to try and solve the puzzle. Hello, Mind Link. How are you doing? You completed the game, so you ain't saying nothing. Good. I had a hypothesis and did not test it. Okay, fine. All right, I'll test my hypothesis.
Also, stop leaving your ship in the sand's path, please. Well, I was not inconvenienced at all by that this time. Because I I didn't need to leave oh. Ash Twin or anything. <laughs> I was really good on testing collision bugs. He already gotten stuck like ten times. Uh, all right, let's go take a nap on Ember Twin. Yeah, I figured... I fi- yeah. Maybe there's a lore reason, but... I figured the idea was just that your character was just kind of... remembering and re-entering information into the logs... upon... resuscitation or whatever. It's on this side, I'm trying to... Yeah, but... Yeah, but... Yeah, but... Okay, okay, okay. I doze. Wait, did I just lift my visor? Because... Oh, maybe... Oh, there's oxygen here. Never mind. Um, wait, this is on Game Pass? Dum, dum, dum. Oh, hold on. Wow, holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, God. I do have my suit, yeah. I mean, we lifted the visor, but you never know. You never know. Uh. Alright, where is Ass Twin? Well, just find the crevice. There's the crevice. And... Whee! Find the crevice, and you'll find your ass twin. Nope, wrong one. Fuck, man, the whole... Void Moon situation. I don't know why I call it Void Moon. Quantum Moon, Phantom Moon, whatever. Wait a minute. Alright, this is the broken one, yeah? Computer close to you has a promotion. Buy a CPU or a GPU and we'll give you one month of PC Game Pass. Oh, computer store! I was like, what? I'm just gonna let go and let the game take me wherever it will. Because if I mess with it at all, it could screw things up. But yes, my hypothesis was that maybe this is a... Um, Perhaps an analog transporter as opposed to a, a digital <clears throat> um, digital transporter. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure I got sucked like this before, but I don't I, uh, I don't remember where we wound up. See, I... That's what happened last time. Maybe I need to fight to stay in it. See, it works. I know, it's, I know it does that. But the thing is, if it's sucking me... Get down. Go down. 
If it's gonna suck me somewhere... Don't! Ooh. Oh. To a particular location. No, no, stop, stop, stop. Maybe it can take me if I'm standing on that spot a while. Where are you? Um, it's going to push me into the ground. Where's Ember Twin? Come here. Well, I don't know how it's going to line up. I don't know. When you get sucked, it's hard to get it down. Pardon me? Because I'd have to align it with that tower while getting de-sucked um, into... But which tower was it? It was the Twin Towers. Ooh. That one's... That one's intact. Oh, God. Wait till the last second till I see just a, a lip of that tower. <laughs> I don't know though. Oh wait, there it is. That's the one that would take me down. Well, I'm at my sweet demise. Okay. Uh, I probably did that wrong. Maybe that's not even what I was supposed to do, but... <clears throat> Teleported to paradise. Was that the hypothesis that I was supposed to uh, be testing? Jurgi? Or was it one of the other 73 hypotheses? <laughs> what do you mean wrong? I thought that's exactly what you wanted. Hey, it teleported me back home. You're right. Um, I think the hint has made you more confused. Fair enough. The quantum moon was there for a second when you blinked. Oh, that's cool. It was something you very much questioned and then didn't do. Yeah, well... Um... Well, it's passed, so... <laughs> I hop in, hypotenuse is the square of the vector. Fiber. Okay, uh... You mean, you mean on today's stream, right? Like, questioned on that loop that... Previous to when you mentioned it, right? Um, there's Dark Bramble still. Yes, of course, no one remembers 48 hours ago. Well, I don't remember uh, seven minutes ago, so. Let's go. Let me look at the ship logs here. There's more to explore in the lake bed cave. Suck. Wait. Suck. Fart. I thought we were like completed that because I figured the puzzle out at last second and then it was like, okay, cool. Damn it, balls. Did I just not read a, a doubly, a double message all the way across the sky? sky? You remember the movie 48 Hours? I don't remember that movie. Don't suck far. Oh my god. Why not? Don't king shame. Today's a Pokemon community day, so I'm I'm running auto catch Pokemon. Just so you know. Do you want that answered? <laughs> Here's the thing, is my brain cycles through like multiple questions per second when I'm thinking about things. And it doesn't remember what 
question you might be referring to. You're away at the end, uh, the end of last stream, what? Okay, this is where the dude is. The opposite pole has the, the lake bed dumpy. Oh, Peepee. Peepee's doing great. Let's put, I haven't logged in. Actually, I did log in not too long ago when we were getting super hardcore into Pokemon Go again. Peepee was the name of my Eevee. Hold on, where was that lake bed? No, this is the, this is where the dude is. I believe it's the opposite side. Here we go. Wait. Nope. Doom, doom, doom. Ba -da -ding, ding, ding, boom, boom, boom. No, this is that. Where was that lake bed? There's your boy again. Oh, maybe it was below him. Oh, I think it was down here, wasn't it? <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. You still pet your peepee. -pee. Um, like... Stinking <gasps> ass! Dingleberries! <clears throat> I choose you, choose you. Thanks for 44 months, by the way. Welcome back. Thanks for that resub. You're waiting for that, I bet. If I don't grab it right at the start, we're done. I blame ship log. I blame ship log. What if, what if the, what if the real world was built in such a way that there was just a bubble of oxygen around trees? And you could only breathe within, you know, like, I don't know. A five foot radius of each tree. But then, then people would have intelligently planted trees and probably credited them more for actually providing oxygen. See, trees, you should have evolved to have a much smaller oxygen emissions radius with a protective bubble to withhold that oxygen. Trees would be expensive as fuck. Yeah, and it'd be, it'd be incredibly illegal to like do shit with trees. Maybe we wouldn't even have paper. We live in tree houses. Oh, that's fair. Or we just have a tree. Everybody would have a tree in their house. Or a tree in every room. For five feet, uh, you need a subscription for tree oxygen. Shadoobi, 32 months. Welcome back. Thank you for that resub. So the lake bed is actually where your boy is. Ish. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Match velocity, please. It seems really deep for a lake, but... That's why I wasn't entirely sure to equate this to a lake bed. Am I dropping? No. Now I am. But, oh, no. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, man, the quantum shit in this is really cool, though. I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm, not here yet. Although, if it works for the... Can I do this? No. <laughs> Wait. Oh, sneaky spot. Sneaky spot. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Uh, hello? Fuck, fuck. Make it, please. 
this. Krogatron. Thanks for 19 months. You're breathtaking. You are taking breaths again. Good job. I like taking breaths. Now this is where shit gets quantized. Quantized. Uh, Ian Mandarini, thank you for the fresh sub. Welcome to the wolf pack. I wonder if I need to... Well, well, yeah. Oh. Free up any paths, or use camera here, or so. Here we are in the lake bed. Um, did I miss reading any thingy thingamajigs? I read it all, right? Turn the light off. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a message thing that'll appear. Because if I, if I use the rock to teleport away, won't that take me away from the lake bed and then there's nothing to find there? I don't know, maybe it considers it the same location. Let's go. Oh, is it literally this? Oh shit! Coleus! I guess I didn't find this before. Remdeal, thanks for the fresh sub. Welcome to the wolf pack. How curious, this rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never, more have I, never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis? If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Mellorai is here now too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with that quantum object and they move together. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. He has also promised me he'll never vanish again, even this if. Okay, 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 okay. Putting together now the fact that the, the last rule for uh, our, our moon visit was quantum entanglement. So now it's all right. Cosmic Morns, the mapper with Zero Hit League. I'm wondering if you can help him get in contact with the fifth mat. Ooh. I, I haven't heard uh, from the fifth mat in a while. Are you on the modder discord? The modding discord? That would be my first place to go. Um, let's see. The fifth. I see the fifth mat. They're online too. On discord. Um, void entanglement. Can I get their handle? Three minutes, oxygen remaining. It's fine. Mm. Hmm. Can I make an invite to this server? Invite people. Here we go. Cosmic... Bored in it. The loading, hey. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to find your name in chat so I can click it and send you this message. Uh, did you tag me? There you are. Sorry about that. Here we go. I'm going to try and whisper you. Okay. I'm not sure if you're already part of the Discord, 
but try and join that Discord. That's a modding Discord for Soulsborne games. No, you're good. And I see the fifth mat in the um, the teal roll modder category. And you should be able to send them a message that way. If not, let me know, and I'll reach out to them myself. Oh, and we're already back here. Nice. Okay, so... Um, where are the spikes? Plebe, man. Oh, I can't escape normally through here. Maybe there are other locations, though. I loved it. I loved it, Goshki. I'm excited for uh, more matches. Oh. And for the evolution of the... Uh... Here we go. This is what I want. In the end, winning yesterday's match does matter. Yeah, I totally misinterpreted the rules for um, for the league. I thought it was you earned one point. Yeah, I don't know. I confused myself. But, yes, yeah, so you have to win the match in order to get three points. In order to get three points. All right, we might be going to the moon now. The next Zero Hit League will be Wednesday. It's Wednesdays and Saturdays. To be honest, I'm not... Uh, I. It's less of a competitive thing for me, even though it is a, it is a competitive league. Um, the, the, the exciting challenge part of it for me is just seeing how well I can do against the various seeds. Finally, the Addle Rock. Perhaps in a different... Hello, Void Moon. Quantum Moon. All right, hold on to your butts. <clears throat> the league I participated in yesterday. Happy Hobbs Zero Hit League. Oops, I'm not fighting you, dude. Which is a randomizer zero hit uh, league. It's random every time, and you score points and do things. Vomit league, omit league. It goes by many names. Oh, hello, Voidman. Here we are. Here we are. We have acquired all the rules required for getting this dang tower to its northern location, I would think. Ah. It's there! Wait, what? First fuck, first try. But we need to be at the north. Okay, so, so, okay. The other rule is that this needs to be at the north. Um, yes, quantum entanglement. Quantum imaging. Call the rule the sixth location. So, wait, hold on. We also got to use quantum imaging here. Uh, and the way that we do that is going to be... Because I can't escape. Uh, yeah. We didn't change this, right? We have to set up it being at the North Pole before we travel. 
Turn the lights off. Oh my. So for in, in order for me to determine whether it's at the North Pole, I mean, I need to go outside and... So the issue for me was that everywhere seems to have a barrier... Shit. <laughs> uh, that prevents the tower from moving to... Come back. From moving to the North Pole. And uh, one could assume that you could just brute force teleport around until you're until you're at the North Pole. But I think there is supposed to be So let me run through the thinking again. So, the quantum moon, which we are on, cannot move if, uh, cannot change de uh, locations if we have an image of it. Um, if we have no vision of it, then it can move. Uh... The tower will move. Uh, this is the quantum properties in general. The tower will move if we see it and then don't see it. And then the only way we can get to the actual, get access to the sixth location that the quantum moon can travel to is if the tower leaves well, if, if the moon moves while the tower is at the North Pole, which, if I am correct, at each of these locations, the North Pole is blocked by some sort of obstruction. In this case, I believe it is within this tornado that I cannot travel to. So... It is possible that I can jump in here. Um, so I need, okay. So I think what I need is a picture of the moon from space, then land, then use quantum entanglement to move the tower around until we're in the North Pole location. Let's see. It's gone. And now I'm floating in space. Wait, is it gone? It's gone. That's, that's giant seed. <clears throat> Can you go back to the last slide for a second, Professor? And the reason that I need to be in my suit, can I take my suit off? Hold on. Is that I, if I have, if I'm in suit mode, I can leave a photo up. I can turn my light off. Uh, but when I'm in the ship, if I take a photo with the probe, well, the probe has an emergency recall, but also um, I think the image goes away. Come on, I'm just trying to bash into you, floating station. This is what I currently believe. Oh God. Oh boy. To be... Son of an ass. Okay, I'm just gonna reset. <laughs> That's gonna take too much time to reset. So. We'll see. We'll see. <gasps> I'm not asking for confirmation. I'm not looking for verification. I'm simply going to attempt. Get the suit.
And with how the quantum moon works, see, I, I might be able to just take a picture of the ground while on the quantum moon, and that counts for preventing it from moving. That probably works, but I, I don't know. Hey, there it is again. Let's just come around this way. Cagster, 35 months, welcome back. Domaville! Awesome to see you playing. What? Oh, God damn it, I look away. Stupid moon. Give me the... There you go. Uh, possibly your favorite game of all time. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, I'm loving it, Dama. Good to see you. How many mugs I got? Way too many. So many. We buy so many mugs. See, this mug was spacey. It's like stars and stuff. But then when you put hot liquid in it, it shows you the constellations. They appear. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Eleven hundred meters per second. It's a quantum constellation mug. Hey, Bravo Johnny. Oh God, that's the sun. Don't blink. Wait for it. Stop. Stop. Don't you dare. So now if I get up and then photo mode, photo. There you go. Now I can get out, right? Yes. I can head to the moon. Please don't die on entry. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Okay. Right? We've got an image of the moon. So the moon will not move. Which means that if I quantum entanglement property this location, the only thing that should move is the tower. And, well, how do I know necessarily if I'm at the North Pole in this location, I don't know. The one place I know that I could make that determination would be at Giant's Deep. So, let me go to... Fuck! <laughs> let me go to Giant's Deep. But in order to do that, I have to put this photo away. So, good goodbye. Hopefully I can take a picture of the ground, otherwise we're resetting again. Okay, we're at Giant's Deep. Because the barrier on most of the planets, if I recall, is just a cliff... It's just a cliff side. Now, if I... Do this... That's the moon, right? Moon can't move, probably. Probably. Do I have a picture of the tower in there? Nothing is... This isn't changing. Wait, the tree did. The tree changed. Where's my tower at? Wait, but if it... Hold on. Is, did I happen to somehow catch the tower in this image? I do not, oh God. Hey, that counts. Okay, hold on. No, 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 gravity. Quantum moon gravity. Okay, so that counts, but now I want to make sure that I don't have the, there. I have to, I have to check. Okay, 
Tower can move. Good. So now, the way that I'm gonna know if I'm at the North Pole, for me, is that we are inside that tornado. Maybe we can use audio. Let's see. Hopefully we're moving. Let's check what we have outside. Absolutely nothing. But I don't know that we're necessarily moving if I do this because we could just be spawning terrain around us. I see this though. This might not be moving the tower. Like, there's a rock here, but I'm pretty sure if I just do this... Oh! <sighs> I'm just gonna check every time. I feel like there should be an audio cue, though. The rock is in a different location. Also, there's a rock there. This miss makes sense within my brain. Maybe the... The tornado doesn't move. Right? Like, I'm pretty sure it does not move. think of reasons why this isn't working. If the tornado is in the image at all, then we will technically never lose sight of it, and therefore um, the tower could not appear there. So if that is the case, let me fly out and do a moon photo instead. I don't know, because it, it could be interfering with it in that sense. Um, hello. All right, let's go back now. Trees detected? Oh, right, the whole, th the whole thing is oxygenated. Where's my tower? Tower mod check? Oh, thank you. Okay, tower's definitely moving. I'm gonna try and do the audio cue thing again. Reprimanded, 13 months, welcome back. Dinosaur go roar, thank you for the prime sub. So either there's no audio cue, or I'm missing something on how we get to 
I could be completely wrong about the North Pole, too. The fact that it is within the tornado. Um, and on the other side of the mountains. But I made that determination based on, based on the fact that you always arrive at this location at the South Pole. And every time I try and just go one direction around the planet... Oh, I'm not swapping it. I hit some sort of barrier. Whether it be a cliffside... The walls of a tornado... Oh, I should look at this. Because this, I think... Um, hold on, let me turn this on. Shit! It's fine. I wasn't close enough. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Has to be in the North Pole. Why is the tower above the moon? It's just indicating direction, right? North Pole, I guess. Sure hope. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. That's how we got here. Are those trees? Ah, yeah. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. But what is this? No, that's no, that's the shard on the planet that we got there. Maybe these are just where we learned them. Uh. This is the tower on the giant steep where we learned it, right? And okay, I think that's those are hints on where you go to learn thing. The problem is, I need a moon. I I feel like I need to keep testing. Um, this plan. Until I'm absolutely certain. So, see, I, I, I'm at the South Pole right now. Whenever you leave and whenever you come back, you return at the South. Um, which means that it should be okay that I take an image of it. From there. Unless there is some sort of, like... Like it's passing through the planet and catching the North Pole in the image, in which case, crap. But if not, I don't know that I'm safe to assume that as we orbit the, um, the quantum moon, it is locked. It's facing, its South Pole is locked toward us. Because then we would be okay to take photos. Again, if there's no pass-through on the image. Uh-oh. Oh, whoops. Well, where are we now? Brittle rock stuff. Maybe I just keep doing this until we arrive at... <laughs> I don't want to brute force. I feel like there's a... But that just says to reach the sixth location. Not necessarily to gain access to the sixth location. See, and we're blocked off, even though we're here. This is a quantum object, however. Uh, so maybe I'm supposed to solve staying here while moving this quantum object. So now I would need a picture of the moon. Is this the, that's the floor, not the moon, right? Um, I don't suppose I could shoot a probe. Is this the moon? I don't think it's the moon.
It does seem to be the moon. Captain. I do, but the thing is we need to travel here from the North Pole location. So it doesn't, this isn't gonna work. Right, this shit, this shit ain't gonna work. So you're gonna keep putting me in invalid locations. <laughs> Just crush myself in the door. That's the answer. Damn, I feel really good about my tornado idea, but it's not working. So there must be something I'm missing or some sort of edge case that's causing that idea to fail. Haven't looked at chat in a decade. You're probably screaming answers or suggestions. I apologize. I can't find a hole in that logic, though. Well, I can, I guess. If I happen to have a picture of the North Pole or something. But I, should, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. Uh... Something I'm missing to getting it to the North Pole. Also, uh, that provides a light. I don't know how that, how that <laughs> obstructs. You know, I also have not checked out, I think, all of the Quantum Moon's locations. Which ones have we not? Did we check out Dark Bramble? We have done... Well, let's see. Okay. This is Brittle. Brittle Bastard. 50% fuel. I got oxygen. It's okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Next one's got a cliffside. That's Giant's Deep. This is Dark Bramble. Why do I still hear moving? Is that a bug? I don't remember if we've been to Bramble. I technically have an image of the uh, tower, so it shouldn't move, right? Yeah. Okay. Did we check out Dark Bramble? Yeah, I remember this. It's like kind of glassy, yeah, structures. And what do we have? Do we, ha as far as an obstruction to the North Pole, do we have one? I may be going uh, east-west here. There's a ship. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember this. Okay. There's a big... Wait. There was a big... Chunkle of... Rootiness. Uh, I don't know about that anymore. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here's the chunkle. That I can't go over and I can't traverse into, right? Which tells me that we need to teleport that tower into the North Pole's location. I really thought we had a solution for that. Okay, on a scale, chat, on a scale of one to uh, 1,000, how close is my theory to solving it? Waffle. 
690? Oh, Jesus. 420. So many different numbers. 42? Jerky? Really? I feel like implementing quantum entanglement and imaging. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm fucking dead, so. Eat. Eat my ass. You bramble, bitch. Let's go to Dark Bramble before we die. Shit, I'm falling back into the moon. Whoa. Oh, fuck. It's an awesome view. The, ass the assumption is right and wrong. Oh, I can't refuel my... Not refuel, but... Regain my, uh... Using oxygen as propellant. Great. Do, do. The views in the... I don't know. Just the, the way the world is built in this game. The universe. Sorry. The, the solar system is built. Is superb. Use my oxygen. Boom, 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 boom. Move, moon. Wait, you're not the moon. You're giant steep. Maybe? Yeah. Here it goes. This is what happens every 22 minutes, by the way, if you're like, it's your first time here. Hey, that's getting bigger. <clears throat> I have been testing theories. Maybe not everything, but I... Again, if I test everything that I think of, this playthrough will be 7,000 hours before I stop <laughs> and still don't win. So I try to prioritize ones that make sense that makes sense to me, but also from a gameplay perspective, which can be a problem. Sometimes I try to meta things too often. I think like, ah, you know, their, their technology for determining, determining what is in frame on a camera image might be failing here for the, <laughs> which is not, you should not think of that. That's just what my brain does. So. <clears throat> Okay, so let's 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 start from scratch and thinking on how we can if what we know is that oh let me look at the ship logs real quick. See if there's any information that I may have been omitting. I'll probably crash into the sun. While doing this, but let's find out. Uh, hold on. Lunar Lookout, Feldspar, Bramble. Right. I still haven't gotten to the core of Giant's Deep, man. That's a whole nother thing, though. Feldspar figured it out. How can't we? Sixth location. We've been there. Quantum Shrine. Uh, you, re you recall the rule of quantum imaging. It's grabbing a tumor. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement? Mm-hmm. You're just telling me what's here. Recall the rule of the sixth location is inscribed next to a mural of a tower hanging above a black hole. Um, where is the... Let's see. Can I review? Yeah, get out of here. Hey, we finished everything like Bad Cave. The, uh, the discussion about the sixth moon was on... Um, the br uh, Brittle? Brittle place. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge, Quantum Trials, Quantum Growth, Quantum Caves. Oh, we solved all that stuff. No, it's this. It's this here. The uh, Pilgrimage to Quantum Moon is a journey for the Nomai after two groups. Have all we reunited. It's been there to find the Quantum Moon. Here's the structure generates a strong upper gravity field. 
I recall to my shuttle from the quantum moon. Right, that's how he got there, but then he went on foot uh, from his ship, which landed on South Pole. Um, work leaf, 62 months. Welcome back. And two ones. Two ones. Two ones. Thank you for that fresh sub. What's up? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for that. Uh, landed her shuttle, the Quantum Moon, South Pole, and prepared to make the rest of the journey on foot. Mm hmm. To explore the sixth location, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. Right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> another possible thing I could do is <laughs> obscure my vision from the tornado, look at the tornado, take a picture of the tornado, assume that my line of sight with the shrine is not blocked. I need to be in the shrine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I need to be in the shrine when it travels to the North Pole. So I can't... Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Ignore that. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Quantum Shard. Mm-hmm. I'm going to turn the shards the objects in this grove behind me in quantum matter. Mm-hmm. Rule of Quantum Imaging. The other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. But I think we've learned all the lessons. I think. Where else were there quantum shards? Well, we found the one on the Mirror Twin. We had the one on Hearth Home, whatever, is, if that's what it's called. Um, where else? <clears throat> Apparently I cleared out Hold on Hold settlement uh, No that's on uh, Brittle planet I don't remember it's name Brittle Brittle boy Frozen on my shuttle This is all on the interloper We learned Spoilers Hold on Gabbro But Yeah. Probe tracking module. Construction yard? It must... That must be a double reedy thingy, right? Probably. I should probably get rid of those. Just so they stop throwing me off if they are. Ocean depths. Feldfar found a way to reach the core of Giant's Deep. Each tower warps to a different... Designed for each of the towers on Ash Twins Equator. Each tower warps to a different planet, although many know my work quick to note that the sun is not actually a planet. Each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destination. Towers allow the Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all other locations crucial to the Ash Twin project. Sun. Twins. Twin towers. There's five towers there? There's five? If I had guessed, if you had asked me, I would have said that there are three different sets of towers. And there's five. The sun is a star. 
Hmm. Well, I suppose I don't. I can't. I, I don't know what these symbols indicate. However, one of this might be black hole. Uh, wait, isn't one of these black hole warpy thing? It's, uh, no, maybe it was. It was the one where you can drop down onto the ledge and then you go through the spikies. Right? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck it. Just, I don't know. I'm missing a lot. Took a day off from playing this game. That didn't, that didn't affect anything. I'll keep pondering on the quantum moon business. Well, I guess we've let some pass, some time pass. <laughs> Memory leak. As we visit Ash Twin. And I'll try and identify five different towers. Ember Twin, please. Quantum pondering. Wait, does that stop time? Checking the... That must stop time, because this is... This stuff is barely... I guess it does. I thought it didn't! That's why I said we were going to crash. Um... Well, this is just one of the power towers, right? Hmm. I didn't consider the seemingly giant looking solar panel type things to be towers. If you add those two in, it totals it to five. Which is how many they showed being there. But I don't think that's I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's that's what I'm missing there. Beard Souls! 88 months. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for the resub. League League matches are Wednesdays and Saturdays. I don't normally stream Wednesday, but I will stream Wednesday for matches. And then that'll be it for Wednesdays. Because that's normally my day off. Saturdays, we can intersperse those within the normal stream time. And they only take, uh, you know, an hour-ish. So. Phantom Moon. Void Moon. They call it Phantom Moon, and they call it Quantum Moon. I added Void Moon. Uh, so... Ooh, I guess this would be the sun station. Looks like the sun to me. Bong, 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 bong. Careful. Hey, what's up, soy? What's up, vibrosis? Careful. Danger Shaft. That was my nickname in high school. Plan designs are fantastic. I love the scale, and yet, you know, the. They scaled it the size down, but they kept, like, the properties. They also scaled down the properties, but it makes sense because it's like boom gravity for this This body and then I go over here and then boom gravity for this body It's very cool how they did all that Outer wilds to win I already want it <laughs> Give I'm not even done with the first one JRPG Fridays have come to an end It was mostly a somewhat yeah, so that, okay. Somewhat of a continuation after... Is this the sun? Yeah, because it's closed off, and then it's got a little balcony, I think, and then we... We would drop off to that balcony, and that's where the spikes are, and then you get to the sun station. Collapse 22! 14 months, welcome back. I think. 
Just waiting for the sand to get sucked off this damn twin. Outer Wilds 2, Inner Wilds. Ooh, Subnautica. Yeah, if we play JRPG games or whatever, we're just going to do them just like we're doing Outer Wilds here, which is... like, relatively ASAP. Um, I've got this big priority list in my head. Okay, so let's see. These are the twin boys. Oh, the tops are taken off. Hold on. But we've done both. Well, we did the one where I had hypothesized that it would take me somewhere. Let's look at these again. Mm, no, where was the image? Here. The twins have... This kind of looks like a moon. Like, you know, it's the... Because there's a shadow. It's like, you know, it's not a full moon. It's not a half moon. Somewhere in between. I don't know if that's true, though. But it would make sense that... Well, the thing is, they said it was to mimic the... Each tower warps to a different planet, although many know my were quick to note the sun was, is not actually a planet. So, and they were designed to visually reflect its warp destination. This would obviously be the twins, which I'm on. So the one that's broken, but oh, so why would I want to warp? Well, I guess that would make sense that I would want to warp to the core of the Ash Twin. <clears throat> but. Okay, and then this line would be the the Ember Twin, because it's got the... It's the ice cream sandwich. Um, but I feel like I've activated, quote-unquote, both of the warp points here. This takes me to the... the Black Hole Forge, doesn't it? I have a suit on. So this would be to Ember Twin. Is this the broken one? No, this one's functional. This is the broken one. The reason I say it's Ember Twin is because it has this cut. Um, and they're supposed to resemble the planets. And looking at the, the image, it seemed to make sense that way. So let me wait a bit longer, I guess. If I had to guess, this is probably the tower that we want to find something with. This is also the broken tower that we tried to... Uh, you know... Teleport with, and it just took us up in the sand beam. Let me revisit the image. Because I think one of them showed a door at the bottom. Oh, it was this one that I was thinking of. Um, okay, there's the doors for these, and then we're going to have a bridge that spawns. I'm going to wait for one passage of the of the sand boy. Can I? Damn it. Oh, it's coming this way. Okay, I'm glad I didn't land there. I was about to land there and go pee. But I am going to go pee. But I'm going to put the ship here, which should be a safe spot. Be right back.
old. Bang bang bang, ba da ding kum bang kum bang bang. Sand boys coming around again. Let's see. Ooh ooh ooh. Uh, yes, here we are. Okay, so. And that's where the dead guy is, too. Like, so there's a lot of things, I feel like, pointing towards this, um... Tower location. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this one more... One more time. And then we're gonna explore. I wanna read the mess. I think there's a message in there... That might have, um... Pertinent information. Well, I mean, the thing is, you have infinite number of 22 minutes. So, the only time that it would be stressful is if you happen to start discovering thing at the last second. But then it doesn't matter, because you can just go back and do thing. And you can, you can fast forward time as necessary if it's, like, later in the loop that you need to do thing. It's almost like refreshing when you finally find an avenue uh, for new exploration. It's almost like, oh shit, now I'm gonna reset and then I'm gonna spend all my time exploring that thing. I know I'm leaving the ship in the way of the sand boy. Don't worry about it. Okay. Isn't there a spot below? Um. You don't have any information? The spot below is... Wait, what is that up there? That is the spot below. Oh, no, no, I see, I see, I see. There's not a lower part to that tower? I swore that was where you would... wall walk down. No, I guess that's to the black... Forge. Bonk. Hmm. If that's supposed to go to the core of the planet. Stop. Stop it. Uh, I don't... Okay, that's where there's a, a scroll to read. Well, to grab. And then read elsewhere. Ah, uh, this is, uh, not... Yeah. Come on, Sand. Race. Oh God. Oop. It does feel like I have a lot of information that I need to go back and revisit that may make more sense knowing other things now, but, um... The problem is with too much of that information, I... Oh, wait, where was... Where was that, uh... Is it up higher? Oh, it is up higher. Oh, shit, okay. Third level. We definitely did this. We put it somewhere in red. Uh, no, that's the scroll thingy. Don't. First vision from the hands We're planning astronauts about it. Planning it at the high energy lab on Ember Twins 
equator. You know, I haven't returned back there again, but there's nothing missing. I became lost on Ember Twin. I graduated the room and found where the high energy lab is building with the large solar panels. Um, surprised I didn't see it. Imagine our otherwise immensely clever Conoy will lose his head or an anatomically possible. That's it to the message. I'm pretty sure I've been on here for an entire rotation. And this has a cactus, so clearly there is some sort of connection to the Ember Twin, right? I think I'm thinking about this the wrong way. I don't know. Again, I've got the problem that I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish here, except I guess maybe access the Ash Twin core. Which is where the, like, the masks are that store memories or whatever. But I, then I don't know why, why I would go there. I don't want to disrupt this 22 minute period for now anyways. We have to stop the interloper. Maybe I'll try and stay in the sand Uh, column this time. We. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Oh my god. Ship! Oh! <laughs> I mean, I can go back to the, um, the lab, but I don't know. I'm not picking up the, the hints or the ideas of what I need to do there. Sagis. Here we go. Oh, God. <clears throat> Hint number one, don't fly into the sun. Is there an anime with a character named Excalibur that looked like a white stick with a top hat and was annoying? Annoying, annoying. I guess let me go to the lab just because it's been a long time since we've been there, I think. I don't think there's like an objective there, but maybe the information there could open my eyes. Don't fly into the sun. Grab a suit. Now here we do want to make haste. I have to sneeze. <coughs> make haste to the Ember Twin. Before the sand... Pulls its shenanigans. Uh, there you go. Ding, 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 ding. Less than 40 days to Elden Ring. Pogus. And at Ember Twin, I want to land where the blue beam is, where their ship was, because that's where they descended. Hello, Quantum Moon. Don't crash into Ash Twin, please. Because then it'll be Crash Twin. <laughs> uh, help. Wait, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's just where you teleport in, huh? If you if you teleport from the Ash Twin, you... Oh, wait a minute. What the hell is this? <laughs> I've not seen this. I know there's one of these on the Addle Rock, but I don't remember finding this fucking place here. What? It... Bro, what are you... It's aiming at where the destinations are, right? That's keeping lined up with that. Okay, what are all the destinations? Yeah, that's Dark Bramble. How did I never see this? What the shit is this? Oh, is this the, uh, the Phantom Moon? 
Nice. Nice. I don't know that this gives me anything, but that's cool. It keeps a lock on everything, and then there's the twins. So this is the opposite side, because it's, it's always facing the twins. Did I even read this over here? Oh, maybe it's not the opposite side. Melorides playing on... Sometimes, only sometimes, has a moon. Uh, this is, no, no one's watching it. Isn't that fascinating? Or no characteristics? First time encountering a natural satellite. I think I read this before. Maybe. Uh, oh, they do call it the Phantom. Oh wait, I was calling it Void Moon. Never mind. Hmm. Timber Hearth. Timber Hearth is what it's called. Rockstar's moon wall because it might be a form of microscopic quantum mechanics. What? I haven't read that? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's see if there's any information that I don't know. I don't think so. This seems like maybe the first thing I should have read on this planet. Uh, might be a form of microscopic quantum mechanics. Found your note. Kindly count me when this moon's admirers. Just move to another location. Yeah, okay. Alright. What else is fucking here, dude? What the shit? Church notes. Clearly the Nomai are making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What is this big rotating device for? What is what is it the Nomai were observing? I'd posit there's something special about the orange symbol on that device. Hal and the new astronaut's translator tool would be nice to have handy about now. Um, where is a reedy? DD. There's a reedy DD. Where I was just reedy DDing. Get out. The quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. Anana Burr and I just observed the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. I added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all the Phantom Moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device. It's also possible there exists a sixth place in the star system to which the Phantom Moon travels. <sighs> yeah, this is like the beginning of the game, I feel like. I should have. You have keen eyes, my friend, so this moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. Oh, not six. So, yeah, I know all of this. <laughs> is this right next to where they I guess so I guess so huh. wow there's still fuel in this camp well so much for going to the energy lab like immediately so um ow Either we do this or fly into the sun. Literally the first time we went to Outer Rock, they said something about this. Yeah, and I found the other location, but I didn't find these specific ones. Uh, Seaport Hero, 10 months. Welcome back. Thank you for resubscribing. You can roast marshmallows, yes. This is one issue the game has in general a lot of exploration games. E uh, but that isn't a problem, I would say. It's more of just a consequence of how it's designed. Um, I suppose a player could consider it a negative to discover things that they already know and could have known, but the point is that you're, you're uncovering events that already happened and you're not going to necessarily uncover them in the order that they happen. Yeah. Your PC skips time really fast? You mean actual time, or are you saying actually the game is... You meant in the sense of consequence, anything about the right? I, yeah, okay. Yeah, I would... I mean, I wasn't... I was just discussing. I wasn't trying to... Shut down or whatever. Complete aside, can you review our HUD after we wake up to quell some questions chat has. Yes. The time skip is based on how good your computer is because it still simulates everything. 
Missed series anytime soon? We already did it. We have missed one, we have Riven, and we have missed Exiles on my YouTube channel. Jeebus. Here's my HUD. Did, what did you want me to look at HUD-wise? You just want the streamer chat knowledge relationship on the same page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a I did wake up. You were specific after we wake up. You mean after we wake up from this loop? Because I was dozing by the fire. Do -do 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 -do. Unless you meant like immediately after I woke up. All of the HUD. Yes, now. Huh? What do you. Immediately. Review our HUD. Me or chat? Review all HUD elements. Me? Why me? What? Waifu HUD. Am I supposed to be noticing something on the... the radar thing? The radar? Yeah. Can we get a HUD IRL? Yes. Oversleeping is a bummer when the sun explodes. Unless... every time where'd it go it was super fast super bright this how the hell do I catch that can I click can I track it it's not the probe the probe is bluish is this something orbiting the planet? Is this one of what's his name's just tools? something monitoring the planet I gotta go to Ember Twin hurry before high energy generator lab thing when the sun explodes you don't have to go to work oh, God. ask twin you're always in the way Okay, speed to the... Um, where is it? Stop it. Come back. There we go. High energy generator lab. I don't think, uh, yeah. Like I said, I don't think we're missing anything there. At least the game's not telling us that we are missing anything, but the information. Oh, wait a minute. This thing has like a million. <laughs> it's 
Scan external external environment. Scan complete. External temperature is prohibitively high. Verdict inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on planet surface. Collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Launching escape pod three. Now launching escape pod two. Escape pod two. Vessel is more. more See, I I noticed multiple messages before on a dual message one, but I thought that it was like replaying some sort of timed broadcast. And I thought that the reason a reason why I thought that is because time stopped while you were reading it. And then as soon as you move, it starts going. So I thought that it was cycling between messages. Um, yeah, and I wasn't... Oops. That is the reason for why I thought this way. Bing, 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 bing. No, I didn't try to move up or down because I did not feel that there was any reason to. Oh. Next year, re recent internal ring speedrun. I have to buy a copy and play through it myself. This is your fault. Oh, I'll take 100% responsibility. Enjoy. If it didn't stop time and it kept going and I waited and the message didn't change, then I would have thought, you know what? There's some other reason that... I got two different messages on here before. And then I might have observed a bit closer. I probably might have thought also that it was a spiral as opposed to separated message circles. If that makes sense. The spiral... Wait. This is Generator Lab. High Energy Lab Trailhead. So this is where those... Well, where some of the power is going. The High Energy Lab, 400 meters. I don't remember what is down here. Are there quantum shenanigans? Dang. Oh, I remember waiting here. Uh, 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 uh. Can I... <laughs> Undo some... No, I don't think there's any quantum boys happening here. I feel like there's a reason this goes up here, though. Is there a... Since we have time to kill, let's point out each element of our UI because there's still some ambiguity. I have a north-south facing device. Wow, what? Okay, next. I have a gravity meter. Okay, next. I have an O2 fuel and boost meter. View map, equip signal scope, equip scout launcher, and the radar. I skipped one thing. My ship indicator. Go back. A health indicator. What do you notice on the radar? Myself. Uh, shit. Where am I going here? Oh, here we go. My position on the current planet. Wait a minute. Okay. Ah, oh, shit balls. We're good, you don't die. Oh. Um. Path down here. Oh yeah, I remember doing this. 
Equal bridge. Those not me know exactly what was going through his Lois head is hilarious. Well, at least it's entertaining. Hey, what? What is wrong? We got rampies. Uh oh. Yeah, we definitely did this. Where did this take us, though? And here. Oh yeah, this was the oh. this whole tower thing. Oh, I don't remember that I did this. Oh, I um. Remove warp core. Oh, son of a fuck. Oh, mother truck bag, dude. Wait. Hold on. Black hole? White hole? Empty hole. Does this... The location does not change. Oh, boy. Oh boy. That's a lot of warp cores. For a lot less of the... <clears throat> Will this reverse the direction? Damn it. I, um, which ones were empty? Let's see. Th this one was black hole here. There's a lot of there. Oh my god! Let's just um, let's put black hole here. Let's just configure things. What is this even? I um. Oh. Can I place something? Here? Oh. Oh, I see. So now I can observe. Oh, am I changing the gravity? What does this do? Wait. Oh, because I put it away. Let's see. Where's my photo? Well. No, I'm not changing the gravity. <laughs> I know where we had a broken warp core but it was a different shape that's what that was what was there before I have no idea how these correlate um let's see the white def definitely wasn't there I wonder if I'm missing information for a pattern of this Ghost orb! Oh. <laughs> what is this connected all to? Record should know my arrived with warp receiver, but uh, very slightly before. This is a real phenomenon. This is in theory. We want to try maybe the negative amount of time elapsed. I mean, it's in black hole and then it's in the and so our experiments in the first in black hole and small hole called mimic set of white hole stations. It's impossible for an object to exit a white hole. Before entering the corresponding black hole. Um, okay, this is. What in the farting asses? Sand, please. Oh, it's just that. What's at the top of this? I'm pulling energy because white white holes. Wait. <laughs> okay, now I'm powering this. Oh, so we should look outside now.
Maybe we need both the powers of the black and the white hole. Power is diverted this way. 50% fuel remaining. Now you're thinking with portals. Is this just a test chamber? Show me two black holes. Is the sand coming? That's a cool test chamber, if that's what it is. Um, empty warp core? I don't think that's gonna have any effect. But maybe, um... Is that just storage? Okay, so that doesn't seem to be powering anything. Can I move these somewhere else? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Shut up. No, don't. Read it quickly. Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible. Southern Observatory. We learned the negative info. Southern Observatory is on the other planet, right? It would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy. A thrilling we'd also like to know in space. Energy is currently available. No pun intended. Astro Project will be our biggest song undertaking, but unfortunately physically, but any way to travel between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we used warp towers like the one we have at well, White Hole Station Connect, Ash Twin? Yeah, mm-hmm. Different planet. I got to those who know my imprecise language. The sun is not a planet. The giant tower to visually reflect the warp designation. The giant's deep tower uh, for instance could resemble a cyclone, and we can model the timber right there after a geyser mountain. Yeah, I read all this before, but it just kind of didn't really click okay so that's what that is um i feel like these are the shapes on the brittle place this is the twins that's the sun so that i guess that is a tree top for the hearth something hearth timber hearth um so Ash twin, right? But that thing doesn't do thing. Here I'm changing the flow of the power. I'm also unpowering over there, which I don't, I don't know the uh, implications of that. I think this is just to. Uh, Maybe show you what the the um brittle location is all about with the black hole going to the white hole. But I'm not certain. Uh I was thinking maybe if we could use those power those warp cores to somehow adjust the direction that the warp would go, then I could use Ash Twin Tower to warp down into its core. The Sunless City. Wait. There are, um... They had the symbol that has those two diamond shapes as the locations for oh, like this right oopsies 
Oh, wait, can I just take these now? No, but if it's missing... Oh, okay, 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 okay. So where... Okay. Oh, we're not on the Ash Twin. Where's my ship? Oh, it's over at the... Place. Gathering information for a possible next loop. Optic pair, 31 months. Welcome back. Thank you for the resub. How you doing? Virtual avatars. Oh, a GDQ. Oh, I see you mean like a... Uh... Oh my god. Oh, it's behind me. Are you talking about VTubers? Ah! Landing gear damaged. No one cared. Where are the twin... There we go. Stop. Don't care. Get out. This one has a warp core. Shit! Well... Lead lost. I thought maybe we would bring a warp core or uh, switch it out. Sand, please. However, if we find one of those, it's missing a warp core. Now we have a plan for... So I thought maybe I could bring a, a white hole out. Warp core here and then change it from suck to blow. But I no black hole is suck, but that doesn't make sense. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> I've tried to let the sand suck me twice now. And I just wind up in the valley. From this location. Am I missing pow- No. I mean, it's lit up. Wouldn't be lit like this if it was missing power, right? That's what I'm thinking. Where's the sand? Very close to the sun. It's dangerous. Could get pulled in by sun's gravity. Is the music starting? No. Where is the interloper? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for sand again, because uh, it's all I know to try here. Sa interloper? Oh, Void Moon. Phantom Moon. There it is. There's sand. Uh, Maybe... One minute until end of cycle transmission. Masks receiving data from probe tracking module. Giant Seat Memory Statue, Timber Hearth Memory Statue. Receive data from previous cycles. Oh, 
Holy ass cock. Save it. <sighs> Save it finish the excavation of Ash. Jesus. Exposit. This is more. We. I don't even know where it was pointing. With I mean, it's the core. Is it because I changed the power? <laughs> Okay, the power is divert is flowing this way, so that's probably what it different. So, I mean, it makes sense that the core would have to be protected. That's right. They were talking about building it to withstand a supernova. <clears throat> well, oh. Fuck. Okay. So just... I'm not even sure that I had to change anything to get sucked there. This game hurts your head. I'm sorry. Sometimes pain is necessary. Oh. I accept this pain. Alright, let's fucking go. Um... Yes, Ember Twin. You need to be high to concentrate on the game? Are you kidding? <clears throat> You're high right now. White Thing, 17 months. Welcome back. Demon Souls Remake. Hey, nice. Yeah, well, we're, it's going to be a while before we get to Demon Souls Remake, to be honest. So. Uh. Oh, it was Ash Twin. <laughs> okay, let me... I'm just going to ask straight up. Did doing anything on Ember Twin change that portal at all? Or did it just... No, it didn't. Okay, that's... Either the cycle lines up such that right after the sand, I'll get pulled through, or maybe sometimes it overlaps with the sand... Uh... Or I just suck at standing on t the teleporters. I don't know. In either case, we're going to have to let those towers uncover a bit. The hatches are open! No, I don't care about you. Shut up. Oh, shit. Okay, great. Kind of. Marshmallows. Burn, chert. Chert burn. Maybe four minutes. Five minutes. A lot of sucking going on in this game? Yeah. There is. Oops. You're always afraid you're going to hear the cycle music on December 31st. The core has appeared. Stop by to attack. <clears throat> Fox, that's one of ours. Hello. Hmm. 
Zup. Yay! So I guess I'll just uh stand on it until sand arrives, then step off, then immediately get back on it. That's no no no. Thum thum thum. It's active and everything. <laughs> Fortunate how that is calibrated. 14 minutes until. It's me, it's Gabbro, and Chert. All right, let's read this book. Here we go. Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet the Ash Twin project, powerful enough to send in information back in time. How far we've come since our experiments at the high energy lab. I still can hardly believe the yeah, experiments. See, Raimi's hypothesis was true. Awesome, Monkey Mama. Thank you for that resub. We've also finished relocation, all re relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. Uh, Poked has sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the black hole fort now ash twin can be connected with giant steve where cassava is working with avens to craft the orbital probe cannon and where phlox is sculpting the memory statues i don't think i've warped to giant steve from here hypothesis it was not by accident the core of our warp tower uh was the last to be forged hypothesis the cores could have been forged faster if cassava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates the important point is we are all connected through Ash Twin now, and also that I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. Our friends on Giant Steep tested the Orbital Probe Cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon is doing well, and that Avans advocates uh, for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avans can, or Evans, whatever. But then, if anyone can go to device into exploding, that too is likely Evans. Perhaps I can. I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Evans that Mallow, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon, or is Mallow part of the problem? Flox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they're truly remarkable. When the Ashwin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pi and Idea have worked hard on the sun station and it is last complete. If everything goes as planned, the structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ash Twin project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here's what will happen. First, the sun station will receive the order to fire at the sun, prompting it to explode. Right, but that failed. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ashwin Project will send the order for the Orbital Probe Cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ashwin Project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The Sun Station did not work. Suppose we redesign the Sun Station to generate power of that magnitude. A supernova is still our only viable option. 
I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova. My friend, don't lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, Idea, but you'll need some way to halt our aging process. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ashwin project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there's another way. So they're trying to repeatedly send a probe back in time in order to gener generate data on the creation of the universe or pre-universe or something to learn about the eye maybe we're halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment a comet has newly arrived in the solar system and we're anxious to explore it it's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new so we're excited to welcome this comet imagine what knowledge might be gained there and then the comet brought fucking ghost matter which fucked them up and then they had this project all in place already so that when a supernova would happen things would happen when all the masks inside the ashwin project flocks they look beautiful although i do feel as though i'm being observed it's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds otherwise i imagine the experience will be hard to endure ideally they'll only need to activate once the project although 20 they wait 22 minutes to send no they only need to activate once the project sees as a safety measure however the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure they will why is that if anything goes wrong with the ash twin project the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and able to fix it otherwise it'd be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of problem oh yeah, yeah, yeah we already read that one giant steep project projection stone brittle hollow that's what it's called I've got news here how the advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished. If my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary and her design work is beautifully clever. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ash Twin project as I had to see it. Pie is beside herself with joy. My gratitude for the latest shipment, you know, this, yeah, I've read these, um... Okay, let's keep going this way. Artificial gravity control. Where's the sign for this switch? Wait, this, uh... This is like a recall. If I were to have teleported here. If this ends the game... Maybe this will get an ending where everybody dies. Hold on. Excuse me. Turn it back on, please. Oh. Oh, that's why I want artificial gravity control off. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. 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 Ha <laughs> ha. 
Huh. Ship. Ship, no! Wait. This is the music, but it's... Oh, but I have to do this. Or... That shit ain't powered anymore. Oh no, am I gonna get bad end? Uh, <clears throat> we didn't... Yeah. Did I doze? I did doze. gonna get immediately fucking eaten by an angler. Unless... <laughs> oh, that's a game over. Lord Danicus, thank you for the sub. Bad ending. <laughs> Welcome to the wolf pack, Lord Danicus. I don't care about the developer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Load previous save? Well, probably just put me at the beginning of the loop, right? Yeah, okay, all right. No, I want it. Yes, I'm actually glad that, well... Okay, uh... Mm. Mm. Never mind. I don't have a... <clears throat> Uh-oh. Gone in 60 seconds? I didn't have that before? Really? I don't know what the order of events that take place are. However, I know how to complete one of them, at least. Sort of. Well, at least a part of one of them. So I'm certain I'm, I'm playing with the idea of trying to figure out Quantum Moon before returning to Dark Bramble, but... Like, at least I have an objective that I know how to complete at one. 
It's very possible that I place the warp core and then... Uh... Damn it, Ash Twin. And then... Uh... It says enter, like, enter the code into those little jubilee wooblies. And I have no idea what that is. And then nothing happens. But I need to try stuff. But the quantum moon is still tickling my brain meat. Hello. Auto. Uh... I really... Oh. I thought I had this whole thing figured out. I really did. Let me think. Better not be a spoiler. Lord Hello, Danica, Bros. thanks for the three I've doll been hair. I've watching your content on YouTube for the past five years and thought I D finally stopped by and show some support smile. I was wondering if you plan on doing some kind of Souls Marathon during the week prior to E-Ring's release. Much love less than three. Danica, thank you for that. Souls Marathon prior to Elden Ring release. Um... Unofficially, maybe, but I don't know about a marathon. I do have... Oh, my birthday is coming up. So I will probably do a special stream for that. Oh. But... Oh. Nothing in particular before Elden Ring release. The marathon will be Elden Ring release. Oops. That is the marathon. Here's the thing. Well, okay. Okay. All right. Um, what are you doing there, buddy? I almost forgot about that black hole of a giant team, so when he comes from NATO. Yep. Yeah. Oh God. I can tell the the pole that I am on. Oh. <gasps> You're finally awake. Let's 
So it's just overthinkies. I'm gonna I'm gonna create a series of time traveling probes. Well, anyways, let's find out. No, don't velocity match. I'm doing the inputs like I'm in my sh my suit. Not my ship. Lobo's brain. Yep. Lobo's brain is is for all type of thinking, really. It's big brain. Big brain emote. Big veiny ass head brain. Oh. Well, what the? No, 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 no. Oops. I guess I don't really need to get out of the ship for this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oops. Well. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Wow, the range on that, though. Oops, all cacti. Uh, <clears throat> let me see. If the answer is As easy as easy as I'm now thinking it is. No, no. No, it's not. Right? It's not. Uh it's a bit frustrating when there are basically no lore about the Hearthians who know a lot about new minds, but no love for our music playing folks. Ah, you get to learn a lot about them talking to them. And you can see when the Nomai found them forever ago when they were just little little four-eyed slime boys. Uh, Rexter, 32 months. Welcome back. Apple Pie, 8 months. Welcome back as well. So... Boom, boom, boom. So if I do this, then we're not, we're not actually moving. We're just changing the, well, I mean, it, it, yeah. We're not relocating. And the thing doesn't even have a ground, so I guess we wouldn't travel with it unless I get on top of it maybe, or something. But I won't be able to be in pure darkness without. Jesus, how did I have so much momentum? Is the sun bring? Well, I guess I'm going in the sun now. So you could definitely like land in the sun station, right? I'm sure people have, I'm sure some of you have done that. 
Because it's open from the outside. Yeah. Definitely. So if I had resi resigned myself to doing that, we could have eventually done it. Let me just reset my... Um... My Pokemon Go auto-catching. Do it! But I already went on the Sun Station. I don't need to do it anymore. Maybe, uh... Maybe they make that part of the DLC. Um, okay, so I thought that when we were clicking the flashlight while inside the tower, the tower would be relocating and moving us with it. But clearly that isn't the case. I mean, yeah. We're on the planet, and the planet is what moves. So I can't just sit in the tower and then... Click, click, click till we appear on the north pole. Even when I swap locations, it, um, we wind up at the same location on the, uh, on the moon. Oh God. Hello? Hello? What is happening? Okay. Whoopsies. Uh, what? Can you look straight up and have it disappear? There's a giant seam! Reporting bug! I'm just kidding. Uh, bye, everything else. Uh, huh? Oh, yeah. Whatever. Unless one of the moon locations I haven't explored enough. The sixth location from... Hmm. But if I do this, uh, it doesn't... Let me look at the, their information again. I mean, I know what the information is. You recalled the rule of quantum imaging. That's how we got here. Recall the rule of the sixth location. This must be... Oh, it does say that it's orbiting a black hole is what it said in the ship log. Um, but that doesn't matter. All that matters is that it's a north... Right? I mean, why isn't it on the moon? Black hole. And then the rule of quantum entanglement, that uh, if we're touching the thing, then when it travels, the we travel with it. But um, I'm not... See, see, that's taking us from planet to planet, which, ta-da, we're at the um, sixth location. Maybe now, if I take a photo, for some reason. <clears throat> and do this. It will change. No. Oops. No, 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 no. Close, please. Oh, yeah, I bugged the door. You can bug the door audio. I don't remember seeing that before. That's cool, though. It seems like... I can only move... I mean, I don't see the... 
I don't see this on the map or anything, so I can't just use the radar to track it and where it appears, right? I could use the radar to prove when it's not at the North Pole. But how can I prove when it's at the North Pole? Unless I can shoot a probe into the tornado. Unless I can shoot probes all over the place. But I imagine the tornado would also repel probe. It repels ship. There is a bugged audio cue. <laughs> so, no, that doesn't matter. I, I need to be in there when it travels anyways. I gotta pee and probably order food. I'll be right back. Um, here, you can observe the, oh, let me, where's my ship actually? Ship boot? Oh, there, it doesn't track it on here. Ship? Shippy Pippy? I think I'm beyond the point of being able to simplify um, the concepts here. Oh, wait a minute. These are from Bramble too? Oh shit, okay. I just put that together that... Oh, but that's also why uh, Feldspar went to Dark Bramble after he went to the center of Giant's Deep, most likely. This is probably like the anglerfish or something. Where the hell was my ship? That's not my ship. Oh, wait, it's at the South Pole. Duh. If I didn't move it. Or if the Quantum Moon didn't move it. Did I even land here with the ship? I... Mm, I got launched at, out. Is my ship here? No ship for you. Ship is no longer with us. But but why? No, it's got to be here. If, if I arrived here on it, right? Oh, wait a minute. What planet did we void moon on? <laughs> nah, that doesn't... Yeah, that meant... Mm. <laughs> yeah, that would change. Hey, ship. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna teleport back here, and then how do I kill myself with this thing? I'm just gonna do this, and I'm gonna pee. I'll be right back.
I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I hope you guys enjoy the music. <clears throat> I had uh, a lot of things happen. I had a phone call with my mother. I had uh, two different sets of orders arrive at the front door. We had uh, groceries, and then we had our, like, we're trying some local meals ordered. So I had to, and uh, Bloody is still asleep, so I had to go put all that in the fridge, in the freezer, so that all that stuff wouldn't melt and go bad. And I didn't even get a chance to order my food, so I'm going to order. I'm just going to really quickly order my old standard J-Mike. And then we'll get, like, breakfast when she wakes up or something. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, she's been having both a mix of kind of sleeping issues, but also that may have been exacerbated by us staying up pretty late, like a week or two ago. Uh, it's like No Man's Sky or just LOD. This game is not like No Man's Sky at all. I mean, uh, yeah, no, no. This is very puzzly. How far am I into, into this loop? Jerky, call it. Call. The game is good, so no. Wow. How much have you played, Domanska? Like 10 minutes. Number of seconds. Two Harthian days. I'm talking about the game with the loading type. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean just taking off and going into space? Yeah. Yeah. That's a, it's a really impressive technology that I feel like kind of take for granted. Um, I remember there was a canceled Star Wars game on like on the Wii or something. And there was like a tech demo where they showed, you know, getting in an X-Wing and taking off the from the planet and going into space. And that was fucking awesome. Maybe it wasn't the Wii, but I think it was. Anyways. Sandwich ordered. Now. Oh, that's how I can tell how far into the loop we are, is how drained Ash Twin is. But even... Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Do I have time? I mean, I'm just going to jump into Dark Bramble and immediately die anyways. So... I mean, we might as well give it an attempt. An attempt to be made. He that's not the right one. Funk. He yeah. Shit. Sun isn't ready, still have some time. We'll see. I don't know, however. Wait. Oh, I'm dumb. This is Ember Twin. Yeah, okay, that makes sense then. All right, all right, all right. I get it. God, that's... What a terrible system! Who designed this shit? All this shit. No, my, you're garbage. Blowing up stars and... Creating time loops. Creating transports that only work when the giant fucking sand shit is... <clears throat> Whatever. It's okay. It should at least still do it if I'm standing there when the sand happens. But I guess it pulls you just right before it would activate. Not their fault the tower broke. Yes, it is. Uh, wait. Hold on. They had a working tower then, yeah. You're gonna unsub if you keep bullying the Nomai. I mean, they're kind of dicks. If 
Bye, ship. <laughs> Prepare for bad end. My ship! Shouldn't there be a warp to Dark Bramble? But don't die, but don't die. Don't ah fart balls bid I damn shimmin. As much from thee. Requaza Master 69, thanks for gifting five subs. I appreciate you. TKL also gifted a sub to Cutorius. Rexter with the resub. Ah oh, got to be a way to deal with <laughs> maybe you don't maybe you hmm hmm That'd make things a lot worse. Well, let's see. <clears throat> well, hello. Nice to see you. Oh, oh, now you're over there. Okay, cool. was canceled oh prediction oh I never turned XP on oh yeah this game's amazing bombo legit incredible wait I have, uh, I have over figured out the quantum moon stuff from what I gather is that there's a much simpler solution than what I figured out, but my solution just doesn't work. So, uh, right. <clears throat> Those up. He's only about the seven days to die server. I don't understand why it's not so populated anymore. Oh, that's because I stopped playing it on stream. So people also, I made an arc server. So there are people playing on the arc server, but just the other day I fixed the seven days to die server like two days ago. And there were four, four or five people on it, which is populated. Mm, that's fine. Shit. That's pretty populated. 
I figured it out so hard it doesn't even work. Yeah, that's right. Okay, leave the ship in a good place this time. Like over, wait. Okay, I'm gonna go diagonal to it because I don't trust. I have a, I have a suit. I guess I shouldn't know already where I'm supposed to take the warp core, except for the fact that I managed to get there. And I'm pro- like I said, I'm probably missing more than I need to solve that. But there is a, like, there's only one way to find that out. Okay, there's many ways, actually. Um, there's a lot of ways. But the one way that might be popular would be just to try it. Just try it, forehead. <clears throat> I think I think I uh, I think I have a better plan for navigating since I have more time, especially. Can I just jump up to the other section? Oh god. I... Mm, yes! Yes, I can! <laughs> Suckers! Uh-oh. Might two years. Welcome back. Music like this makes me think that the game thinks that I have done something profound <clears throat> and that I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm attempting to do. Uh, whether that <laughs> means that it's gonna... <sighs> oh, game. How naive.
I'm dead. <clears throat> so the first time that I navigated there, I didn't... F in that section, I did not follow the orange white at all. I pulled two anglerfish to the spawn. And then I just gassed right past them. I don't want an answer. But with a very small amount of observation, it seems like maybe they only activated when I thrusted. So I was attempting to approach one and just coast. Probably not a thing. I probably just happened to get in range. I also was thinking about just getting out of my ship because they may just be attracted to the ship. Of course, I'm not looking for any confirmation of information. In for confirmation. Conf... Con for information. Con... Con I'm going to look at chat now. Hopefully all spoilers are expunged. <clears throat> but just being safe, pardon. I appreciate you, Mons. Emon only isn't as bad as being banned. That's true. You can participate in emote. Emote only chat. Oh my gosh, my food is almost here. Glorious. Okay. That's fine. Who needs a starboard hull? Hmm. Scaraled. Scaraled. Scare LED. Thank you for that sub. Welcome to the wolf pack. Some hype. Uh, 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 uh. Jump repair. No problem. Uh, what did we do? Four minutes last time, and I had to wait a little bit for that sand. Uh, although, overall, it was pretty well-timed. Le let's go. It's pretty good that I, uh... <laughs> Managed to die before leaving the planet initially, and it was just like, you are dead. I liked that. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Oh, but I need to keep this in a safe spot, and that will not be a safe spot. I must hurry. I must hurry. I don't care. Bonk. I must hurry. Get. Do you not see if your own messages are deleted? No, you see. Quite sure. Bunk. All right, let's go ball. Jewberry. Thank you for that sub. Welcome to the wolf pack. Good to have you.
Vomit Fiesta? Are you talking about the Happy Hobbs critically acclaimed Vomit League? No, I did not figure out moon stuff yet. Sheep. Sheep. I sort of remember the path that I took my initial time. Sandwich is here. Ah, excellent. So speedy. So fast. Should have given myself some more speed going in here, huh? There's the thing. Oh, I did go towards the orange, and it was this. That's right. I forgot about this. Are we far enough away now? Probably. One there. Mm hmm. I remember like circling around it, but the problem is I may have adjusted me stuffs. Uh oh, I'm just gonna bunk. Am I gonna bunk? And where is the destination? Yeah, I, I kind of circled around the orange DNA-looking stuff. 
and uh, uh oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's try this. <laughs> okay. They respond to the... Look, I did some rotation. I did some rotation, and he didn't give a shit about the, you know... Pst, but then as soon as I started to try to move, then he was like, all right, I'll be right back. Hold on. <clears throat> new undies. Oh, yeah, new sandwich undies. I'm just going to use this sandwich as undies. All of our play testers. Sandwich time. The loop is gone because I removed the power source um, that made the um, Ashwin project run. So I doom myself by doing that. But, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, wake up. Why the fuck are there giant space anglers anyways? Why are there giant sea anglers? Your question has no relevance. I go in there with the core because we've made it in there and we found the derelict Nomai ship that has a busted warp core. That is the only reason that I go there. It's an attempt to replace that core and just see what happens. But I'm relatively certain that there's more to figure out, very likely related to the quantum moon puzzle. Um, I should probably figure that out sooner rather than later. Hello, quantum moon. Let's, let me find, try figuring all the puzzles. I mean, that is a puzzle in itself. I'm not telling you it's what I need to do next, but it is something to be solved. I never intended to do it thinking that it would take me to the end of the game. The music kind of makes me think that it is pretty end game. The whole game is a puzzle, right? But it's open enough. <clears throat> the initial innocent action of going, let's explore Dark Bramble just as I would any of these other planets. And then happening upon what seems to be possibly an end game location. Oi. You believe in the power of the sandwich. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. If I take... This is probably extreme... Uh, unnecessary brain. If I face away from the South Pole... 
and I take a photo. Then I turn around, and I take a photo. The number of possible teleport locations for the tower are reduced to places that are out of my view. So then I find the tower again. As such. I have to take a picture of it. Wait, hold on. Problem is... Well, now, we're going to remove the picture afterwards, so... Take a picture of it there. It's still there. I back up towards it. Get as wide of an angle shot. Fly up. Take picture. It's gone. Or we could use the, uh... The trick again of the... <laughs> But again, no, I need to be in the tower when it disappears. It's almost certainly, yeah, just off to the side anyway, so. <clears throat> I don't think it will randomly show up in the North Pole. I think, I think it needs to be explicitly sent there. Through puzzling means. And the thing that I am not utilizing properly would be the quantum entanglement aspect. I'm going to take some bites of sandwich. Well, I think. What is that audio? <laughs> Why? Oh, right. I reappear at the South Pole. Let me find his ship again. I'm going to, I'm going to read his notes again. He sets off on foot. I'm sorry for the spinning. I'm just getting his ship to spawn. Maybe this will work better. It's a big-ass tree. Bro, where are your ship at? That's the tower, not the ship. Sorry, close your eyes. I'm going to spin. I need to do this to wreck it. To, uh... Where's your ship, bro? Okay, I stopped spinning now. Now I'm just mm, jumping around and spin. There it is. Yeah, the ship might have been stuck. <laughs> uh, give me your warp cord, bro. All right. I'm just going to eat sandwich while I read this again. Kind of review information.
So I'm just enjoying enjoying my sandwich. Audio? So I need to think less for this puzzle, is that right? <laughs> yes and no. Okay. Do I need to think less and also more? Or do I need to think less and also exactly the same. Wait, both, so all three. There were, there were three options. Not the same, no. <clears throat> Aha! Yes, I have the solution. Whoa, nice. Whoa, cool. <clears throat> That's crazy. I don't think it would work with that too. Quantum stream. Not the same, but also more of the same than you have ever thought. How could I think more of the same that I have ever thought without thinking the same? This works? Yeah, I mean, if you don't, if you look away from the game itself, it changes by not thinking about it. Okay, for what, in what quantity? So... That shouldn't... But it does. Right? This shouldn't. I guess it's technically in my frame somehow. Um, <clears throat> so I need... In order to... There are six locations that this travels to. One is unknown here. Well, at least by me. And the only way to travel to the sixth location and gain access, as you can see, as you can see, I'm there right now. But 
there's an object that's blocking us. Well, maybe I... No. Because I'm not moving to the... Yeah. Yeah. So the only way that we can... <clears throat> if I interpret correctly... Have passage... Actual passage to the sixth location... Is that we need to be... In this shrine... On the north pole... Of, uh, of the moon. Maybe one of the... Maybe I just didn't explore all of them and... Hold on, let me go... Okay, Bramble. Bramble had stuff. This has tornado. Um, th This one has a wall, I'm certain. This one has a wall. Well, one of these two has walls. Uh, hold on. Give me it. Go. Get there. Well, uh, fuck. Hold on. Wait a minute. Well, well hold on. The, well, this one. Okay, hold on. Yeah, okay. That's a no-no. That's a no-no zone. <clears throat> Ow. Maybe I can't access it this way to get to the twin. I mean, I've seen it at the twin, so that's no problem. Jiminy Christmas, can I... Is this just RNG? I may be canceling it early, but... Okay, okay. All right, all right. Fuck it. All right, whatever. <clears throat> okay. In that case, now I think I understand somewhat. Well, no. I No, I'm not going to say that at all, actually. Um, I mean, I'm going to restart this, the loop. Carson! Thank you for 88 months. Welcome back. RPG fan, 45 months. Thank you for the resub. Huh? Easy points. I ain't scamming shit. What was that? Oh yeah, I remember this. It was like a distress beacon or something. Are you not the void moon?
Dong, bang, bang, bang. Oh, fuck. Whoa, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, I've been here. Well, this isn't sp special. This was the very first place I came here. Plop. Disappear. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. The comet ran through the moon happens sometimes. I had a thought for a bit about utilizing one of the hmm the um <clears throat> utilizing the sand of Ember Twin to somehow force myself to get onto the moon in the right place. And now I've had a thought of <laughs> somehow getting a probe to land on one side of the moon as I land on the other side simultaneously. We can't both land on the... Yeah, we actually could both land on the South Pole. Never mind. 
Okay. I'm gonna start asking some questions. Gonna ask you a bunch of questions. Let's have them answered immediately. <clears throat> um. Do I need to leave the moon to solve this puzzle? Nay. Okay. That's all I need to know. Oh, shit. Sandwich and think time. Back, sir. Thank you.
Shep. <clears throat> Maybe it... <coughs> excuse me. Maybe it stays on the biome that I leave it or something. I don't remember which biome I started it. Maybe it was, uh... Brittle? Brittle Hollow? Oh, now you go there! Stupid dinkus. Go to Brittle Hollow, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, it was, uh... No, it was, uh... Timber Hearth. Thank you. Wasn't it? No, no, that's not where the moon was when I first landed on it. Well, fuck. My ship, bro. Bro didn't bring me my chips. <clears throat> yeah, we've got seven come back to this puzzle later at this point, so... By seven, I mean like two, but... Seven K. Oh, coins. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, whoops. Why the twins? Oh, hello. Careful, 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 careful. Oh god. I feel like I should take a picture of something. Maybe the rotation of the different locations will allow me to rotate the planet, but not the shrine, if I have an image of it. Oh god. But only of the shrine. Or 
Or maybe I can leave the shrine in space and take the planet with me. Nah, it's just not moving now. <clears throat> okay, let's check out Brittle Hollow. What's that Brittle Hollow's North Pole? Wall. Doff. Wall Doff. What is this? Oh. No support. Maybe Brittle Hollow has such... Well, it's a moon, though. It's a moon that reflects the planet that it is orbiting. Or mimics, dare I say. In some way or another. So if it had a Brittle Hollow, I could travel from... through it to the other pole. And is this ho is this hollow brittle? Crash into it. Do I have a mm, jackhammer? Mm, well, ah. Mm. Okay. Uh, this is going to be kind of complicated to ask. I'm looking for a yes or no answer. My yes or no uh, question is. Um, is there <clears throat> is there a quantum state that I must utilize? <sighs> is there something other than the tower that manifests itself that I use? You know what I'm asking? Like, do I suddenly turn and there's a hole to the other side of the planet? Something like that. Nay! Okay, good. That's great that that's a definitive. What is buzzing? Oh, it's my phone. It's my phone buzzing. <laughs> I thought it was a game. <laughs> Let me move my phone away. It's just been catching Pokemon all day because it's a it's a community day. Not one I super care about, but still want to reap the rewards. There you go. Put that phone way over there. <clears throat> okay, so I don't need to get something to appear, um, you know, other than the shrine or whatever. Uh. I don't want to ask that question. That's too that's too much information. Um well, it's possibly too much information. But let me think because <laughs> It's disappeared. Hi. One second. I expected as much from thee.
to where's my where's my shrines shrines ma there you are okay Okay, this is a this is still a pretty specific question, but it's not doesn't ruin it as much for me. Do I solve this from a particular location? a lot of yays with some nays. Okay, what I mean is, do I have to be... Does the does the void moon have to be at a particular... next to a particular planet in order for this to be solved? Yay. Jerky says yay, so I'm gonna say yay. So... In that case, I think I have already done, but let us re-examine each North Pole location and see what sorts of... I mean, this, this is the tornado. On Giant's Deep, we flew into the giant tornado from above. But that is not possible here because any time that you fly into the um, Phantom Moon, you appear on the South Pole. There is... Um, I did get an achievement for breaching the current at a certain speed. So it's very possible that I just do that. But... Um, that would be weird that I got that achievement. I guess it would kind of make sense. I don't know that that's what I'd do. I might as well try it, right? Why would I hypothesize and not try it? Let's try it. I need a ship, though, and my ship is probably fucking gone, so I'm going to reset. That's what I was trying to do in my suit until I was catapulted out <gasps> into space. <clears throat> and, uh, yes. My problem is, <sighs> even if I get there, how does the shrine get there? I mean, the shrine gets wherever it wants. And I suppose I could spin circles facing outward from the tornado until it um appears but i it just doesn't but i'm from a gameplay perspective that seems less plausible but i shouldn't really worry about it from a gameplay perspective i think because that can throw me off that can put me off in all sorts of wrong paths Beep, beep, beep. <clears throat> I 
That, no, 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 because the man, the man says that he proceeds on foot. He said, I will proceed on foot. But he's also fucking dead. <laughs> so maybe his idea was terrible. Now, did I penetrate that tornado at all? It seemed like maybe I did, but then I flew into space, so. Um, I don't, interestingly enough, have that. Okay, so, yeah. I. I mean, I can see right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Clearly, there's not anything of interest in there. What needs to be in there is the shrine. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought maybe it was deeper than I originally gathered. By who? Was that you, Mr. Interloper? Oh, it was the spaceship. On foot. On foot. But he's dead. But probably he made it, though. I think... I thought there was a... A log... That was like, I made it. Well, he made it to the moon. But... I... I the sixth location. Ooh, is that coal? Hold on, guys. I gotta mine some coal. Hmm. 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 Okay, uh, I mean, I, I made it in there-ish. I, I, uh, where's my ship? Where's my ship? No, we don't need the ship. I need the shrine. Eg eg project examine the North Poles continues. We have examined... Uh... Oh. No, you said I can solve it from the moon. I was like, maybe there's a way to call the disturbances on Giant's Deep, end the storms, and then, but... I think I made the observation before that the sand is moving here. It's filling up. Nope. Nope. It's going back down. It's just waving. It's just waving. Waving in the wind. <clears throat> but perhaps... I'm cultivating a question in my brain. Is the solution... Yes or no? Oh, he did bring me chips. I just forgot and I put him off to the side. Is the solution... to what I'm trying to solve... time sensitive? Time sensitive. 
No. Okay. All right. Good. I can dispel any doubts of... All right, so north is... Ow. I have one final question that will really uh, kind of... Well, no. It, it depends on the answer. The answer could... extremely limit what I can try. I'm thinking maybe I know the answer. But I don't know. Uh, we're not looking for anything that's spawned because I asked that. Fuel remaining. Does turning this on affect the shrine in any other way? Doesn't seem like it. Seems like it just powers yonder innards. Luis Estepan. Eight months. Love you, love us to chat. Thanks for the laughs, guys. Thanks for being here. Ah, Spoonerism also giving this up to Rosie Bramble and Rambos TV. Five months. Welcome back. And Mad Gun. Hey. So in order to transport the moon, I have to close this door. I have to be in the shrine because I have to be in pitch black darkness. And when I bop, the location of the moon shifts. The location of the shrine does not. <clears throat> um... I expected as much from the... I can tell this using the radar to show that we're not moving about the moon in any way. The shrine obviously travels with the moon. <clears throat> so that makes me think that I have to somehow... But it doesn't... See, I gotta be able to... The whole thing is... They're like, remember the rule of standing on top of the stone and turning off the lights and then you travel with the stone, which I'm not traveling with the stone. I'm traveling with the moon, the shrine stone in this case. And I cannot stand on top of it. Um, as in that such example, Such that I can't travel with the shrine. So how do I... I bugged the audio again. How do I... Well, I mean... If I... If I take a picture of the moon... Then the moon cannot move. But the shrine will not move either. Wait a minute. I took a picture of myself there. <laughs> I'm not. <clears throat> Am I being quantum influenced? It's not moving because the moon is not moving. If I look down, I don't see the shrine, but it does not move. It does not move. I look up, I still see the shrine, I see the shrine, I saw the shrine. The shrine is just not moving while I am within it. Only the moon move. And I can move the moon where I want it to be, but not the shrine where I want it to be. I must be overlooking something.
fundamental. See, the shrine can move. The shrine can move. Geyser, please. Wait, 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 wait. Come back, come back. Okay, hold on. I can leave the door open. But that's a picture of the... Hold on. Don't retrieve Scout. Does my scout have... a position on the... Well, I can look at... Oh, no, I cannot track my scout here. What is the yellow? What are the yellow dots? This? It's a path that I have taken. changing. Take snapshot, retrieve scout. in view See it over there now, you see it? But I can't get to it. I'm stuck in this like crater thing. So I can track if it teleports to the North Pole. In which case I can then there we go. South Pole. And what? My scout too? Ha! <laughs> you jerk. Let me try this. Let's see. I need to... Get a spawn where I have the North Pole in view. Well, I don't need it in view, I guess. But I also can't... Alright, I want to do this on the... I want to do this from Giant's Deep. How you guys enjoying this? Have you all pulled all of your hair out? Are you all unconscious on the ground from screaming and crying too much? Wake up. <gasps> <clears throat> Loving it. Believers are hating it. Hey, thank you, fire truck. Looking forward to Wednesday. I want to do better. I want to do better. Hmm. 
You made 50k this minute, this stream. Who got it? Who who dude it? Who done it? The where is Giants Deep? The ah fuck! I just spawned it. Get, whatever, just go. Okay, I should slow down. I should slow way down. Match orbit. Oh god, don't lose. Now you can't disappear. Oops. Oh, I'm still moving away from the object. Oh, no, I'm doing the wrong thing for thrust. There you go. Speed ahead ish. Oh, no, no, no crashes. Okay. But this ship, whatever. Whatever. Does my scout have a light? No. I jump off this planet, it should move to the sixth position. However, if because it's gonna it's gonna jump. If I no, I have a picture of I have a picture that will probably keep the moon where it is. The picture is intended to keep the The shrine where it is, but not necessarily the moon. If I jump off, I have no ship, and I'm not with the moon, so I will not have traveled with it. And if I jump off, 
and the distance is too great, it will, um, emergency recall my probe. Right. If I show up at the South Pole right now, well, I'm just gonna fucking see what happens. Oh God! Yeah, it's still here. Um, wait. Yeah. Okay. I was like, "There's no water." What the fuck? Mmm. I forgot about that. It moves my probe. Well, we got my... That's a step, I feel like. I got my probe inside the shrine at the North Pole. Definitively. How do I g gouge my eyes out? Is there a close eyes button? You can turn off the light, but it moves the moon. So just don't move the moon. But this is on the moon. And if I take a picture, it should be of the South Pole, right? But it, but it's going to be on the South Pole, potential. Well, not necessarily. It should be in view of the camera when I take a photo. <sighs> that works with the barrier planets, but not really the tornado planet. All right, and that's where I get caught up, because I'm like, if I'm in space, and the void moon is right here, and I take a photo... It's not necessarily that I'm looking at the South Pole. And do they extrapolate that image to include anything that's... No, of course not. Because then, when I'm spinning in circles after I've landed and taken a photo, nothing would move. So if I'm in the shrine... That's the problem, though, is I can't get the shrine to move while I'm inside of it. I can only get the moon to move. And we're back to square one, I feel like. I feel like. If this is on here, it will not move. All right. What? Oh, I didn't take the photo yet. Right, that's how we... That's the whole... Wait, there it is. It's the middle again, isn't it? Well, now I've fucked it. Yeah, I fucked it. Wait, it's right next to me. Fuck. Wait a minute. Oh, because now I took a photo, of course. <laughs> Undo. Bring it back. Take it back now, y'all. And there it goes. Fairly quickly. So now if I have an image of this, it won't move. But how do I move? I have to be on it. I have to be attached to it. That's the law, of the rule of quantum entanglement, right? If I'm touching something that is I'm going in circles. I'm going in circles. Can I create a platform? I can't stand on the thing. The thing won't move while I'm inside of it.
Here's a little video. I have to be inside of it. Giggity. I have to be inside it to... To solve this. Right? But this doesn't count as touching the thing. Do I just need to be up against the wall? <laughs> Hold on. Well, boo, ah, dicks. I'm touching the wall, game. We haven't moved at all, though. Okay. Here we go. I've done some stuff. We've kind of... We've made some things happen. I'm going to ask... Is this the planet I need to solve from? Because you said I needed to be on a specific planet. Yes, no. Nay, yay, yay, nay, 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 yay. Where's Jurgy? Where's Jurgy's answer? That's all I care about. Don't yay, nay. Jurgy said that I needed to. I understand how you could answer yes and no, but you could also answer in a way that is answering my question but not being entirely factually accurate. Do you know what I'm saying? Like. Oh. <laughs> no, you don't. That's fine. That's fine. What if I... Oopsies. Go back. Thank you. one bit. And every time I think like, well, maybe I can use the dude's ship to quantum leap around. I remember that he says I'm going to continue on foot. But then I also remember that he's dead. <laughs> uh Did Jerky ever answer by the way? Where's your ship, bro? Splash. 
I don't know how to answer more than yes or no. Yeah, but which one did you answer? Oh, wait. Was your answer quote unquote yes or no? Or was it a yes or was it a no? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Chat. Chat. This is for Jergy. Uh oh if, if you don't have an answer because you don't it doesn't does not apply you can say will not fix or cannot reproduce where is this dude's ship I just been around in circles why am I running around it's following me wait does he not have a ship here Or is it just South Pole? No, it's on South Pole. His body is. No, but his ship moves... Are, oh. Well, it's near enough. But I can't turn out the lights here. So, yeah. That is the only place that I can... Warp around. Unless this has something to do with it. Up is return home. I have no idea what right does. Left launches when you're there. Uh, here, let's see where you can go. How about that? I'm curious. You made progress on this planet. You made progress on this planet to yay? Hold up. Maybe, maybe there's just a Bramble teleport from Dark Bramble. No, you guys said I can solve it from the moon. I'm sorry for the spinning. Just stare at the radar. That's all I'm staring at. You'll be okay. Or just close your eyes. I'm sorry. There's so much spinning. This will not go to the North Pole. The ship. Okay, noted. Sorry. Everybody puked. Everybody pukes. How has the world, the universe, not blown up yet? Part of me also wants to, like, take the warp core from the Ash Twin core, like, as the loop is happening, or jump into the black hole that's created as it's happening, too. Uh, wait, where'd you go? Um, come back. Nice. Shriny? That's a quantum moon, all right. 72 meters away, though. Constantly? How do I get closer?
Ah, there we go. About time. Ah, fart. I will end this loop with the shrine at the North Pole just to spite <laughs> Cat Jam Chant. Perfect. Go to the North Pole, you turd! Dun, dun, there you go. That's the closest I've gotten. Oh, look at that. So close. I could see it. I could taste it. I thought I made it in. No. South Pole. Wait. Yeah, South Pole entry. Fuck you, tornado! Let's try the Bramble Planet. Whoa. Do you want some pointed questions? Steer you. <clears throat> no, I always have things to try. It's just a matter of how much you guys and my guys are willing to tolerate <laughs> my guys I would love to throukers I would love to are you by chance already by by dark bramble nope no. You're definitely by giant deep dip. Deep dish. Deep dish. Come. Dash break. 27 months. Welcome back. Thank you for resubscribing. Absolutely I do, Sir Lazy Bones. Wait. Oh. Cut. Good! Cheers, mate. Deep dick pizza. Trying to solve along with Lobos, but instead I just decided to eat glue. Oh. No. Nice. That's refreshing. You almost missed the real tornadoes. Whoops. Let's have us a land, shall we? Hey, what are you doing? All right, penetrate, then rotate. Oh, shit. I hope it's okay that I abandoned my ship. I hope. 
I should need it to... I put my ship inside the shrine. <laughs> All right, Bramble Boys, let's do this. Bramble. Uh, let's do the same experiment we were doing. I'm heading, heading for the north. Pull it. There it is. Take a picture. So now it's in the north. But what's the next step? I think I skipped a step, probably. However... The next step is to move the moon. But not... Move the moon and move me. But... Not the shrine. I mean, the shrine can move to the moon, uh, with the moon. <sighs> if I stare this way and remove the image, it shouldn't reset. This is where I'm at. This is where I'm at. Okay, I'm gonna ask a question. This is a yes or no question, and it's pretty... It will define some things within my mindscape. The question is... God, so many questions. The question is, do I solve this from... Do I... Being it, do I begin and end the solution to this puzzle inside of the shrine? I don't believe any of you. You're all liars. You're all lying to my face. The probe provides light? There's got... But... People mention specific locations, but like... It wouldn't... <sighs> Oh, the light's shining from within. Okay. From outside.
How's that light? I'm just trying to have some sort of... Yeah, there's too much ambient light. Okay. Boom. Stabs McGee. 34 months. Welcome back. Ha! Scout, no! Lars, Lars, pants on fars, 32 months. Welcome back. Binging Silly Souls runs on YouTube. One Punch Man was a good time. <laughs> the comments wouldn't lead to the days. Oh, and the comments now are fine. Um, there is seemingly not a way to not observe the moon. No, that's not true. I'm not, I don't. I gotta move the shrine. I gotta move the shrine. All right. But the shrine don't move with me in it. Only the moon move. Pilot deviation, eight months. Welcome back. Does, does the shrine move with me in it? For the solution. It has to, right? No, 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 no. Now reset that bullshit. I don't know what happened. <clears throat> Bye, Void Moon. Here comes the sun into my face. I didn't do anything intentionally. I don't know how I ended up there. That's not... That's exactly what I didn't want to have happen. <clears throat> But I could take clues from that, maybe. <clears throat> maybe. That's not salt. Or is chat salty? <laughs> You're salty. I turned the lights on. Put your lights on. Put your lights on. The problem is I was not even trying to solve it then. I, uh... Not 12! Thank you for that, Prime Sub. Welcome to the Wolf Pack. Woof. It's by Bramble Boys. Yeah, that's far away. Fuck that. Is it by my boy? Nah, put it near my boy. Unless it was on the other side of my boy. There it is. Ah, it's close enough. 
Can't make a prediction because the state of knowledge and goal is now in a quantum state. Who knows what the fuck is happening? Not me, that's for sure. My face is so hot. Let me wash my face. I'll be right back. You guys can um, complain. I'll be back in like two minutes. Getting more water, keep complaining. BRB. Stop. End complaints. For now. Hello, son. Uh... Ah, nice. This is what's amazing about this game. Everyone has a unique experience. Yeah, I don't... Uh... Let's pretend that never happened. Because... It's... Let's... Let's be real, it shouldn't have. And that was entirely what I was trying to avoid for a lot of this experience. Oh! Um, now let's see.
Brother. It was so open. Like what? And like how? So first of all, I had the lights on. And then, and I just was. And I just was. I was outside it for a bit, right? Why aren't you disappearing? Okay. Don't freak me out like that. Oh, where'd it go? Come back! Okay. Did I shoot thing in it? I don't think I shot thing in it. I was like outside and just like... Musing. Did I have a... No, I didn't have a picture of it. Did I close it? I was definitely on a different planet, too. So let me close this. I don't know how much the planet matters. Probe! Get the fuck... Oh, right. I was doing weird shit with the probe light. is getting moved to the south pole. And other places. Um... What the... Oh. What the hee-haw shit is with turning it on and then suddenly being... That's... That's not... That's... on the other side of that. Was the, was the probe at the south pole and had an image open that prevented the moon from moving, but... Not the... Like, is it just a solution to the problem I've had, but a weird one? Nah, see that? Yeah, the moon's just not moving. <laughs> We're back to square one! Eighteen minutes left on Pokemon Community Day. Just wrapping it up. I've had my bracelet just auto catching this whole time. Um hmm. 
<laughs> what the fuck did I accidentally do? It's no... I... It was on... Brittle Hollow, right? Is where I wound up in the correct location. Oh, get it right. Oh, coffee's here. Coffee and a blueberry scone. Thanks, bloody. Blueberry scone. Oh. Better not be a quantum blueberry scone, because I'm a fucking shit, stupid idiot. Blueberry shit cock. Stay there. Wait, I can't get to the South Pole here? I should be able to. Oh, now the, now this is here. Although the image still exists. Maybe that's what I did. But... What the fuck does that mean? I may begin needing to ask for minuscule baby dick hints. South Pole again. Fuel remaining. 50% fuel remaining. <clears throat> Shame. The shame! I'm a... Okay. Jergy only. Only Jergy may speak. Are you here, Jergy? Hi.
That's all. Where's the shrine? Where's the shrine, Jergy? There. Thank you. when I do this wait no no Jerky give, give me a tiny hint Go north. Now? Now what? At some point in time during the stream, go north. Red is north, right? Jurgi, give me another different tiny hint. And it better not be don't go south. I wonder how it's like at the Northern Hemisphere on other planets. The toilets go clockwise. That's it? I was even... Appropriate timing game. I hate everything. This is the I hate everything music. Was it really that hard? No, that's the problem. Mr. Wicked Cat, five months. Welcome back. Thank you for resubscribing. 
<laughs> you know, it's funny because I even noticed that. I was like, that's weird. I can get into like the pink section of this place. Or, you know, this place is blocked practically at the equator and the other one's at the... So the problem that I had was the solution. My problem was that the shrine wouldn't move and the solution was that the shrine doesn't move. Fucking blow me up. Blow me into dick smithereens. That is usually the case. Sato Mori, five months. Welcome back. I was overthinking so much. Uh... But some of my other solutions should have worked, right? I knew the shrine doesn't move. When I was in it. Not really, nope. No, but I mean like... Because the, sh the shrine moves... when you don't look at it. But you're looking at the moon. So clearly the moon didn't move. You still have a little more to really explain why your thinking is wrong? That's all, keep playing it so, okay. Hey guys, welcome to my first time playing Outer Wilds. Uh, don't ask why I have access codes and I know what I'm doing already. This is definitely the first time I've ever seen this game. What's that? That looks cool. Let's go explore it. Oh, there's an autopilot? Nice. Hmm. It's kind of far away. I want to. Can I get a picture of it? Oh, nice. Well, that looks really nice. Let's land on it. That's cool. Nearest caster, 71 months. Welcome back. Oh. I think I'll land on this planet. This planet looks interesting. Moon. It's a moon. It's a satellite of this other planet. Fuck, I died. Well, that, that blew the whole fucking thing into... I mean... Wait, but where'd the moon go? I don't... Oh, it must be on the other side of this green planet, huh? Where did it... Oh, there it is. Yeah, it was just passing behind the other side of the planet. Oh, but before I land, there might be dangerous... Oh, retrieve scout? Okay. There we go. There might be dangerous life forms. Nah, it looks okay. Let's... let's land. Well, that seems bad. That'll buff out. It's fine. It's... <sighs> Not a noob, but on spacesuit. What? No spacesuit? I've got my spacesuit. So, um... I'll just use this one because that's one that we used before, right? That had a nice little dip up in here. 
Hey, there you are. Well, that was convenient. Thank you. Used before, I thought first timer. That that's you're it. Stay on top of the things. That that was 20 minutes ago. I'm now not even the same person that was streaming earlier. You're This is youtube.com. I'm going to go out here just to fucking spite. Yeah, I'm here. What's up? What's up, planet? Eat my ass. Okay, here we go. If I, if I get eaten by an anglerfish... You stay here. of God. <gasps> I knew there would be a living one. Oh, I'll jump into the vortex. It's Solanum. <clears throat> Where are we? I know who he is. Fuck. Dot, dot, dot. Identify the eye of the universe. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it. Only the quantum moon's reflection of it. 
The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around the star system. Explain. There's fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits microscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect, as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in the star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Identify you. I know who he is, but let's see what he says, has to say. I am Solanum, a nomai. My clan arrived in this star system before my birth, and we now call it home. Explain, you! I'm on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All Nomai in my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here to, to be close to the eye, not to close the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the, of the eye in the sky above us. Right, yeah. Explain me. <laughs> Let's see what you got, buddy. <laughs> well, you're an idiot who can't solve simple puzzles and takes forever to... I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine. To learn about and to find the eye of the universe. Sure. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system as my clan originally did? Identify me. Big Chungus. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. Yeah, instead of three eyes. Can I see your face? There are many questions I would ask, if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. <clears throat> well, just give me a question and then many, 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 many different answers. And I'll pick some for you. Quantum Moon. Identify. This is the quantum moon where we are. Bo we both are standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Yes. Ship log updated. Exp oh, shit. Uh, uh, duh. Explain how to identify. <laughs> oh, geez. These are the two tenets of Nomai philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I identify quantum moon? No, explain quantum moon. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon surface does now while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state 
is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum. Thus, the eye is likely also quantum. In fact, the moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. The same way the area surrounding quantum shards that land on other planets eventually become quantum too. Stop saying quantum. I'm about to jump into that fucking vortex. You watch. I will... You, me, identify, eat. Where is the know my penis? Wait, they said Solanum is a sheep. <clears throat> if you had a penis, where would it be? Me? You. Eh? Eh? Uh, we do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. <laughs> I'm so happy that I interpreted it in that way. Me? I have the universe. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? Bruh, I got a million life spans. What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? You, eye of the universe. Many in my clan have believed the eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was malevolent to have lured my clan to the star system only to then vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday. Oh, uh, but I fear this uh, someday, but I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Oh. Mmm. My, my. <laughs> you have selected me, and by me, you mean you, which is the incorrect answer. You mean you as in me. You. Oh, he just erased it. I, see. I thought he was typing something. Typing. Uh, are there more on the back? Like penis? No? Okay. Say cheese! by Solanum.
Good night, Moon. Ship, 21 kilometers. Well... And traveling away from. Well... Better get moving. I don't think I did... I, I don't think I certainly did every combination of... Oh, I'll take a shortcut through the sun! <laughs> Played this game on edibles. It was a good experience. Yeah. I bet it was. I'd like to review my ship log. There's more to explore here? Where? Oh, there you go. Sixth location. Metal living, no, my name's Solanum. The eye is likely the source of all macroscopic quantum phenomena in the solar system. Solanum wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. I, I feel like I should have been should have been able to gather information on how to enter the eye, but that's what's that's Solanum was trying to do, right? But she couldn't. Hmm. Hmm. Let me go to the. Let me explore more in the Ash Twin core. Unless. All right, fine. You're here. Hello. Let's go back and see. It doesn't say that we missed anything. I want to take my ship. I'm going to shove my ship into that shrine somehow. You'll be playing the DLC. I would love to play the DLC. The, oh, whoops. I didn't take a photo. Um. All right, core it is. Goodbye, Moon. The innovative quantum Moon. Pardon me. Oh my! Still got this blueberry scone. We discovered some very important things today. Jergy? Hi. Where should I go next? Where, where would I like to go next? harmonica playing this entire time. Yes. Okay, hold. Hold the thought. Mm. 
Bing bong bing. Bada bing bong bing ba bing ba bing bing. Oh shit! Bonk. Plan on playing DLC right after the base game or some, after some time. Jerry is also interested. Um. I would play it right after. How long is the DLC? Oh, fishing tournament. Are the fishing tournaments working? Equal, really? Oh my god. You you want me to play it again? Three quarters to just as long. My lordy. That's quite a length. Hmm. 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 Lesser equal depends on brain and you're a delph. DLC will blow your mind. Should I stream the DLC or should I play it off stream? I would want to beat the base game before going to the DLC, I think. Really? It's stream? You don't think this is taking away from my experience? I mean, I'm being very hesitant to ask for information. And only now have started to as we start to run out of... ...locations. No. I'll finish main game before DLC. That's the plan. I think my experience has been worth. No. Different? Yes. Probably. Probably better. Did I just not read one of these? Chip. Get out! Okay, I read that. Can I scan these? I guess there's this thing. I feel like I need to lock people's... Other memories. Hey, tablets. Wait. This is, uh... I'm pretty sure I read all of those. All of the wall things. Okay, th that's a projection thingy, not a read thingy, right? Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did this before. These are just the other sides of these. Is there a considerable thing that I missed here? Or do, is it more likely that it's like using these stones in the right place or reading all the things? If you don't know, then that's okay too. I'll just keep trying stuff. I think it's a random red thing not in the core. Do I want to know? I want to know the answer to what I asked. I don't remember that. Yep. Sorry, what did you say, Rosie? I saw... No, I saw your message and then... Uh, there's that effect that you humans have done fully use their knowledge. They know that they can rely on the humans, but when they are alone, they function better overall. That's why you overthink and underthink in situations. Well, interesting. I'm... Yeah, I don't know. There, there may be a subconscious overall effect from me live streaming these things. But perhaps it winds up being better because it's not considerable. I would like to ask... 
I have not reached the Black Hole Forge, have I? I have not. That's what I thought. Chip? Ah, penises. <laughs> I'm on my way, Chip. Oof. Okay, so we've got a harmonic harmonica person. Uh, oh, so Feldspar is the harmonica person, and we can detect him both at the Bramble entrance uh, on um, Hearth, whatever forest hearth timber timber hearth, and also from Dark Bramble. Okay, now that I'm pretty sure that I know a way to easier, more easily navigate, kind of, this location. Let's see about getting past the spookies. Delta Kron, thanks for the nine month resub. Welcome back. Also, I probably missed a bunch of people while I was, like, fucking negative five heading. But Satomori, Mr. Wicked Cat, Nummy Toots, Gamer Setsuna, Not12, Pilot Deviation. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you guys. Only negative five. So I think I can turn. I just cannot move. Should I test? Oh, I'm not going very fast at all, am I?
Oh shit, I remember this. We got this far. And then I got out, and I tried to run into it. And then I think I went into one of the other portals, and a fucking anglerfish ate me. Well, let's go get eaten, I guess. Let's head to the edge of one of these tendrils. Is that where it came from? Probably. Oh, no. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Time to get eaten! But don't, just don't... I just finished playing the core of Giants Evening. New challenge. I've been in town. Let's give that a try. I've been cruising around for a while. Dodging a little mass and vegetable mushrooms. When I run into the beauty, I pull a few sun. Try and shake this. Nothing fancy. I'm going full speed in fish clips. I'm not going to be in Well, I can say, crash by my own fancy. Making sure likes come inside and think that it's going to do. Sure, it's going to barely lift from the electric system park. So it's going to move fast, dying pleasantly. I have a little disappear from my point of pride ship. Came down here where I crashed first time on the skeleton layer. Great find. We're never stupid not to use it. I moved my sub over here and playing my emergency tree seeds over here. Wow. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's how I went down. Hatching stories. But feel free to stay enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Anything else that you wanted? I found something. I found the anglerfish nest. <clears throat> Not 100% sure I get the navigation through Dark Bramble, but I could at least get us back to that that Tri Bramble Crossroads. Tri Bramble Crossroads. <laughs> like that grass bear when dive oxygen deprivation at the start. Mm hmm. Oh. Hey! Oh. Driving in the Tri Bramble area is insane this time of year. 
Are you looking for hot single tribe ramble in your area? Short of gas from shock from dying on the sun platform was neat too. <clears throat> Okay. Whoops. Feldspar got as far as he was on first try, though. Uh oh. Every try is our first try since everything resets. That's fair. Although, to be fair, the first time I did it. <laughs> I got all the way to the... Plate. I figured out the moon puzzle. Uh, pretty much with hints. I asked Jorgie for hints until I figure it out. But if you mean the answer to the moon puzzle... Oops. Hold on. Please. I hope they don't aggro if I bump into them. The solution was that even though we were moving from planet, uh, we we're moving the moon in different ways and the, the shrine was in the same place, the terrain on various moons, well, m mimicked locations. When you move the moon, the terrain is different. In some areas, you can make it so that the shrine appears further north, such that when you travel to the moon in a different location, you are no longer blocked and you can access the North Pole area. Oh shit. So it's like a puzzle where you move to the Northern Hemisphere as far as you can go and then get in the shrine and hold on, am I gonna be able to move here? Hopefully. Uh-oh. Careful, careful. Hold! Bruh? Bruh? Maybe... Bruh? gone. Wait. thought I heard something. 
Oh, it's the sound of that humming crystal. Oh, fuck. Is Feldstar fucking dead? Feldspar? Just watched yesterday's zero hit stream. Good job on the first match point lead. Thank you, Fluffmore. They have squid butts? Yeah. They got they got ten teeth. I should be within a safe distance now. Where am I, though? Is the question. Oh. That's where I came from. I'm going here. Ah, dick meat. These guys have a really good sense of when you use your thrusters. You want to see? Velocity matched. <clears throat> Let's scan for Feldspar. From the start, maybe. Don't thrust by me. No thrusting allowed. Uh, first of all, is there still a signal coming from Dark Bramble? There should be, right? Give me that suit. I think I just didn't follow it initially. And that probably threw off our... Although it wasn't showing up at all after that, which is weird. I should have been able to at least backtrack to get there. But perhaps not. Perhaps not. Yes. Uh, What is... Oh. You and your harmonica. Your shift key is doing you in. Oh, yeah, my, you yeah. know. It's in a different key. Maybe not. You don't tune harmonicas. You buy, like, one for different octaves and shit. So you buy, like, a C harmonica and a D harmonica. What the fuck are you doing, autopilot? Cock! God damn.
His last words, cock. And yet... <gasps> I have ununttered those words. And what are you doing? Removing your seatbelt. I didn't. Maybe I did. Give me the suit. Get to Doc Bramble. There. You spat all over your screen with Apple. Nice. What? Wait. Whoa! Whoa! Why is it doing? <laughs> Fuck! God damn it! Autopilot. It doesn't. It doesn't face you towards it. It just fires rockets in the necessary direction. It's like, all right, you're facing the other way. Well, I'm a retro trust that way. And which is actually pretty pog, except that it has no, it doesn't try to avoid other objects at all. So take three. There it is. All right, I'm not autopiloting anymore, okay? We're putting her in manual. There we go, look at that. Beautiful, shored up. How fast can this puppy go? All right, start slowing. No, not yet, in fact. No, I don't think I will. Just go right in the center. Look at that. We're aimed pretty good. I'm kidding. I got better retro thrusting than autopilot. Ha! Ah, I seen what you done's there. Turn that off. It's noisy. I feel safer getting up and looking around than rotating in the ship. Plus I might lose my... I don't hear any breathing, so... Me, father, figure. You know, father figure is a synonym for dad bod. They call it dad bod, I just call it father figure. Efeno, nine months. Welcome back. First name father, last name figure. Let's see. Ooh. Oh my. Not this again. Hold. 
Oh, well, we made it here. That's step one. Okay. But then how did I figure out where to go from here? Oh, another one is... Oh, I see. But isn't this one also? Yes. Okay. Just making sure. Sure of that. Uh. Oh, there we go. We done it. All right, we have time this time. Probably. Shut up. Yeah. I should be able to shortcut here from frickin' Heckland, Timberheart. I have my suit on. <laughs> Cause that would be the worst. Hey, mate. How's it going? How do you create the gravity? Oh, it's with that thing. That makes sense. Okay, Feldspar. Well, where'd you come from? Blah, 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 blah. Let me guess. Anglerfish? Hey, you got in one. Uh, kind of hard not to once you've seen one of those fish up close and personal-like. But I'll take a load off and refill your oxygen tank hatchling. There's plenty of fire to go around. Anything else you wanted? Holy shit. You reached the core of Giant's Deep. How did you do it? Giant Deep's core, huh? Ah, uh, that was a wild one. But since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it feels like cheating. Hmm. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. You'll want to go to the tail end of this angle anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. Where's your ship? He just told me. What's happened to this anglerfish? Oh, the skeleton? It was like this when I got here. As near as I can tell, this anglerfish must have been chewing on the vine and eating the seed. And then the seed grew and grew in the poor fish's stomach until this happened. Gross, huh? The skeleton was a good find. Keeps the fish away. See, they're territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. All right. Should I tell ground control to come get you? Well, yeah, sure, whenever you have the time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quite peaceful-ish. You're a little too young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. Been nice to have a break. I found something. I found the anglerfish nest. So where's the blasted things? So that's where the blasted things come from, is it? Stars above. If I still had a working ship, I'd be sorely tempted to go show them what's what. Sigh, probably best to leave them alone though, really. More trouble than it's worth to mess, uh, to, mer to mess with anglerfish. I found their nest. Maybe just a spot with a million anglerfish in it. I found a dark bramble seed on timber hearth. That's bad business, Hatchling. As Chert will tell you, if you so much as glance in dark bramble's direction, there used to be a fifth planet where the bramble is now. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. <sighs> I think the net, the red glowy thing. I thought, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, that makes sense. If we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick, like I suspect Timberhearth will be heading toward the same fate. And I tell you what, we Arthians have overcome far too much to be done by some worthless seed. Found something? I found no my writing saying anglerfish are blind. Aha, so the blasted things do have a weakness. Meaning my fly as fast as I can approach to dealing with them could have used a bit more thought behind it. Ah, well, at least they didn't eat me. All's well that ends well, eh, Hatchling? Blind. All right. No, 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 okay. Oh. Huh? Bro, getting me killed. I 
I think I want my ship. I have two ships. He basically did what I did the first time, yeah. I, um, ba, um, ba, bo, be, 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 da. If I get eaten by an angler fish, I If I get eaten by a jellyfish, trip 4, entry I'm going to say not 1, crashes 3, boring crashes 0, personal best. Whoa ho, never thought I'd see one of these species outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. Blah, this thing tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Right, I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity to see if what's in there tastes any better. They react to electricity. I'll go in. Note to Feldspar, do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in your life, in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. He fucked the jellyfish and then ate it. Insulation from electricity. But I haven't even been able to... I don't think I've even... Ew. Seen a jellyfish that wasn't... Uh-oh. Wait a minute. What? Uh-oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Feldspar, you massive taint. It's this one. That's not right. Oh. Oh, maybe it is right. Uh. What? really feel like I need to sneeze. Oh. Oh, we made it back then. All the way back here. Uh, am I going to be able to make it past that? Bye! Don't get zapped. No zappies. There's an alternate branch there. No zappies! So I need the jellyfish for insulation. Like I was saying, I don't, I don't even remember seeing an exposed. I remember experiencing lightning, electricity on Giant Steve. I don't remember there being an exposed jellyfish thing. Let's, uh, let's find that final place now that I don't have the stupid warp cord. My gosh. Well, sh shit in a sandwich, mans. This is my last loop for the day. <laughs> I guess we're playing this tomorrow. Would have helped not taking four hours to figure out fucking lunar shitstorm. Hello? How do I leave? There's only lights for where he is, right? Oh god. If I... Pausa? About face? Ish? Probably there. Oh, actually. Here we go. Should have made some better alloys or some shit. Wait. Bonkers. 
There it is. Oh. Oh no. Sir. It's fine. That's less fine. Don't zap. No zaps. Nope. No impact. Oh, nice. Ish, don't crash. No pain. And drop skidoo. Can you just get in here from the start, dick? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't. No, no, no. Sir? I guess. I guess you could manage your way and discover that, right? This explains the weird gravity. Which weird gravity? This is Dark Bramble, right? The entrance? Yeah, because we went back in, and then it was like, well, shit. Boom, 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 boom. It's always zero G. Yeah, I don't know. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is right outside Bramble. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well. I was going to start exploring these things. But instead, I'll just hurdle towards... I don't have it. Why don't I have a tracky? That's giant steep. I need to get in the jellyfish. Murph! Get in the jellyfish, Murph! <laughs> but I don't even know how to get down there. Cock, man. Cock, man. Jellyfish, do you like music? Gabbro, can you call the jellyfish a, a dumb name? Maybe there's a jellyfish in the... Well, we're going to have to experiment with jellyfish tomorrow, I think. Hey, I'm not far from the jellyfish here. Jellyfish. Right, hey, right before we just blow up, jellyfish, give me a... I'm stuck, I can't. Huh? What's that? Sure, are a lot of orange icons in your ship log for the next episode. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. time. There is more to explore here. Jiminy Christmas ass. Jiminy Christmas ass. Thank you guys for being here. Happy Sunday. I hope you enjoyed yet again my wild flailing. 
and minimal progress. We did, f we, we, we got places. <laughs> and we uh, did some things over the course of seven hours. And we'll probably do some more things tomorrow. 